Hello, hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome! Fine! Well, wait, hang on. Why is that there? <laughs> <laughs> Fine Tuesday to you all. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see ya. Hey, I'm there. <laughs> what is up, Zerus and Headless Joker and Bettymon and Trans Girl Jade and Titan Whale and a shy a shy a hunt a shy a hunt. Then the bear Doofus, a uh, bear snake. There's a really sweet man named Doofus, by the way. You're naming me think of that. It's spelled with a U, but uh, Doofus is really sweet. If you never heard of them, Oscar welcome to the fishbowl. First time. Up, thank you so much for your subscription. Big subscription for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So tonight, it's happening. It's happening. It is top eight of band bracket time. So we've been doing this for a minute now, working our way through the band bracket. Tonight, it's the top eight. We're going to go over. Krim is, a, Krim is, a, is on his way. He's been moving. So he was walking his dog and grabbing his neck. So he's coming. So I told him I would stall. I would stall. So if I ramble on for a minute, it's because I'm stalling for Grim. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, it is top eight time. Gigantic birdie! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big subscription for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So tonight, here's what's happening. We already did the first round. It took us two streams, but we went from 16 banded standard decks down to eight banded standard decks. So now we have four matchups tonight. We're, we have two more streams of this. So tonight, we're going to go from the top eight. These eight decks down to the top four. So we have coming up first, Simic Food versus Winota. Should be an interesting matchup. That's one that never saw a play. They weren't standard together. Four color Omneth for Sluka Fires. Another matchup that we never really saw before, but two newish decks. We have Copycat versus Teamer Wreck, which should be interesting. I have no idea how it's going to play out. And then Teamer Marvel versus Golos Field. Interestingly, uh, for the first round, Every higher seed advanced, which is very unlikely. So we'll see if we get some upsets tonight. Matt the Champ, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Moving from Seattle to NorCal in a couple days. 500 pounds of fun. Oh, good luck. That sounds like a, a big move. Uh, hopefully, un uh, do you have a job down there? The Mega Magic Carp? Weren't you telling me? Uh, hopefully, I'm not confusing you with someone that you, uh, you're you getting a new job. So that's the plan for tonight. When we're done, we're going to have a top four. And then next Tuesday is the end. The end of our first ever bracket on stream, and people seem to like it, so we might do another one uh, of some form in the future. McIntyre, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super cheer for you. For the final matches, since next week we'll only have three matchups, we'll have two top four matchups in the championship. Uh, and then at some point, it might be on that stream at the end, uh, Richard will sneak in and do the battle versus John, or that might be its own special thing. But anyway, I think we're going to do best of three matches for the end. So you're going to have to win two full matches for the top four. So that is the overview for tonight. We will be starting with uh, with some Simic Food action. Simic Food will be fighting against Winota. I don't even know how this matchup's going to go. It should be interesting. I mean, uh, no loser's bracket. So at this point, I don't think so. I think we're going to finish this one off with single elimination. I guess if we wanted to, we could do like a runner-up or like a second place match or whatever it's called between the two decks that lose in the top four. But I don't think we're going to do a whole bracket with the losers. So yeah, Winona does scare me. Like we do have Ether Gus, many, many Ether Gus. We do have a couple Braves of Borrowers, but uh, Winona comes me down is very frightening you can't oak you can't elk with oko it's a speed so so that's gonna be match number one so give me your well actually let's do our reminders and then give me your predictions and then uh krim is uh staying his necklace i think and should be here momentarily so yeah we could do we could potentially do a third place match would you rather have a third place match or best of three matchups for the finals like do, do you even want best of three it's like more scientifically sound but none of this is scientifically sound out. It's like just for fun. So reminders, replay YouTube. That's where you'd find all the old streams, including this one in the future. Normal YouTube. There's some sweetness on the YouTube today. The green white counters budget magic deck. I actually think that deck is really sweet. Like I think that deck's really fun. I think it's really powerful. I think it's actually pretty good. So uh, if you haven't seen that budget magic, it went up a little late because of a publishing error, but it went up this morning. So check that out tonight. There's some crim action. Tomorrow's against the odds. It's a unique one. Playing on 
And I guess it kind of goes with what we're doing tonight. It is a is it is a ban deck. It is how broken can we make a deck in modern using only ban cards? <laughs> so that's coming up for against odds tomorrow. So make sure to check that out. Uh, let me correct this record real quick. Uh, I promise I'm not stalling for Grim. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> the roller pig. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for the kind words and the resub. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Big super cheer for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder that our awesome sponsor tonight is Car Kingdom. And if you need some uh, some banned cards, <laughs> you can get them over at CarKingdom.com. Even get a free scoop soldier sticker. Just let me know you want one uh, when you go to check out. So thank you to Car Kingdom for supporting the show tonight. Oh well, good luck, uh, the Magic Mag Carp. I'm sure uh, I'm sure you'll find something awesome there. That sounds super sweet. Uh, otherwise, the Discord is new and improved. The merch page has token T-shirts, playmats, donations. Always appreciated. Never required. Two dollars or more gets your message read on stream. Uh, so, Crib is, uh, is coming. So, uh, here's what we have matchup-wise. Uh, we have Simic for versus Winota. So, give me your prediction. I don't have the Winota list here. That's a that's a Crim list. Uh, <laughs> stall beast mode activated. How do you stall? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wonder if I can find this again. I know how I wanted to stall. I wanted to do this on stream. As soon as Crim... Uh, as soon as Crim gets here, we will start round one. So is it, I know, I'm sorry, we're starting, stalling already at the beginning, but Crim is, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. There was this quiz that I posted on Twitter that I haven't done yet, that I thought could be a fun, uh, a fun stream thing to do, if we were killing time. Wall of Chaos! Hey, there's Crim. Crim is in the chat. Uh, Crim, whenever, uh, whenever you're ready, give me a call, and we, uh, and we can start doing this. In the meantime, waiting for about to give me three cards. All right, so we will speed run this quiz. We'll speed run this quiz while we're waiting for Crim, and as, uh, as soon as Crim is ready, thank you for the, for the bits, the bites, the bits, the bites. Uh, definitely appreciate it. Team guessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this quiz, uh, I haven't actually done it yet. This is, can you name the magic creatures with worst power and toughness to cost ratios? Uh, I don't know if you've seen this. I, I saw this because Reed Duke was doing it on his stream a bit ago. LOL failed W2F. Wait, where's the, where's the, the BBQ? <laughs> Welcome back to the visual for the seventh month. Thank you for your subscription. Big super cheer for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So... So let's see if we do this. Can we beat Krim? Can we can we complete this quiz before Krim gets his cards? That is that is a challenge. So you gotta help me, chat. You gotta help me. On your mark, get set, go. How fast can we do it? Born of the gods, one white white creature spirit. Uh I don't even what is what would that be? One white white creature spirit. Worst power and toughness for uh Idolon, okay. Oh wait, oh wait, Crib beat us. I hear the call, I hear the call coming, hang on. Never, maybe we'll put this on hold. H hello, hello, Crim, uh, you are, you're on uh, live by the way, just so you know, hello. Oh, okay, so so I, I just won't swear a ridiculous amount, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, <laughs> Hey, how you doing, Seth? I'm ready. Uh, I just I like to give people I like to give people a heads up just in case. You know, you never know. You never, especially after <laughs> I don't know if you saw the the news story over the weekend about some like political sim that went wrong over what? <laughs> over a Zoom call. I don't know if you heard about that with some like CNN no, I, I did not. Oh, okay, I did not. Well, it's a it's a little bit too PG thirteen, I think, for uh, for a normal <laughs> flavor. But okay, look it up. Okay. Look it up later. I laughed when I saw it came across my Twitter feed. I was like, oh my god, people. Like old people in the internet tend to get themselves uh, in trouble. <laughs> Inter really, internet boomers. They 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 don't realize their camera is going, and then like they're like, oh, yeah, guess what? We all saw you like doing something that you probably wouldn't do on a work <laughs> call on Zoom, and they're like, uh. <laughs> that's pretty awkward. <laughs> well, luckily, I you won't have to worry about that with me at least because. If anything, it's mostly just me not starting the call at all because I that, incorrectly did it. That that said, I got in a lot of trouble, Krim. You're going to love this. I don't know if I've ever told you this. I got in a lot of trouble like a while ago with my Twitch chat because I uh, arena crashed. This was during the bad time when you had to restart arena all the time. So arena right. crash. So they get to see my desktop. And once on my desktop, there's a file that's nipples.mp4. And of course, <laughs> that was us recording the set review. And you're talking about Oko's nipples or a Dryad of the Ilse Grove's nipples. Yes. But chat would... 
I would not believe what that. What are you talking course. about? <laughs> yeah. What are you oh, talking about? Oh, Crib, don't do this to me. No, you got to back <laughs> me up on this. <laughs> I, wait, when did I ever talk about that? <laughs> no, no, not like this. All right. <laughs> anyway, we got we got Magic to play. Crib, I went over the matchups with people while, uh, while we were stalling. So, so I think that we are ready to talk about our first matchup. So we have reached the top eight. We only have two more streams, and we will know the champion of the band bracket so crim matchup number one tonight i am playing the number one seed uh simic food the oko deck okay you're on winota uh any any thoughts about this matchup like i i don't think this is a matchup so oko was banned before winota came out so it's never a matchup in standard how do you think this goes uh you know this this is gonna be kind of like i i still feel like we both can do a lot of things by our turn threes. Obviously, mine are way more explosive. But, like, if we're talking about the fair game, I think you win. I have to have the explosive start, right? Because if not, like, it's not like I can let Winota sit, right? I mean, majority of my stuff, like, if I, I guess if you elk it, you actually buff my creatures. But, like, <laughs> like for the most part, I feel like I have to have the explosive start before you get your Nissa and your, like, your Hydra Crisis, and then you just go to town. So, like, whereas, like, the last time we played, you, you saw the Winota deck play a fair game three and almost lose to Teamer Energy. This time, if we try to play a fair game against the Oko deck, we will lose. Yeah, I think I think that's true. You're not going to beat the, the Oko deck fairly. And I will say, oh, I'm a little disappointed that Teamer Energy didn't make it through. Arguably, that was that was on me that Teamer Energy lost last time with a, with a little bit of a punting. As far as this matchup, though, that's, that's in the past. We're in the top eight now. Uh, on one hand, Oko can't elk things at instant speed. So I do have a little bit of a concern that maybe you can just, like, turn three Winota and get in that attack. And elks are non-human creatures. <laughs> they can trigger Winota just as well as anything. That's so, right. So you maybe... You might help me out. Yeah, maybe maybe I help you. So that is a bit of a concern. On the other hand, I do have main deck Ether Gusts, which I assume are pretty good against Winota. Oh, that's... Yeah. Brazen Borrower gives me a little bit of interaction. And like you said, if the matchup goes long, I think I'm definitely favored. Like, once it goes long, uh, things just snowball out of control really hard. That's what makes the Oko deck so good. So, I don't know. We'll see. I think this is you trying to jank me out really quickly. Me hoping to have Ether Gust to make the game go long enough that I can take it over with eh, your favorite cards, like Nissa, for example. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that card. <laughs> All right. Fun. All right. Are you ready for our first match of the night, Grim? Sure. All right. <laughs> yes, I, I will be as ready as I can be. Challenge incoming. Uh, also, thank you. Thank you to uh, to our two subs. I missed two or three subs. Uh, subs from... Uh, who do we got here? Del Torbs, Avery Jordan, and Aramy with a one year re Oh, wait, I'm not trading you. Aramy, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super cheer for you. Also, uh, if you haven't been to previous band bracket streams, since me and Crim chat, I'm a little less a little less interactive with the chat. I still try to keep up with it, but uh not as interactive as we Ooh, usually are. But uh all right. Thursday There's we'll be back the challenge. to normal. Yeah, sorry, I was I was shouting out subs, and then I started to trade you, and then I realized that uh, that wasn't the right thing to click. But we got there. We, there was a few punts. There was a few punts on the way to the we match, but we made it. <laughs> We're off and running. Oh, and you're I winning will... the die roll. That's bad. I know. This is already a good start. Huh. I... I... Uh, Maldifor? I will keep uh... this. I think I have to mulligan this. So Ooh, we'll keep. I don't know if I like this though. Uh, yeah, what were you saying, Grim? If I draw a certain card, this hand will be very decent. Is it Grazer? <laughs> Are you I hoping mean, for a Grazer? Off, first off, I no! the the, snap, the keep was because the Grazer was in the opener. So <laughs> out of just sheer. <laughs> disrespect we have to keep the grazer uh, so, so you're right, probably, there it is so i assume you're hoping for winota then it's a hand that's insane but you don't have the winota maybe it's not insane that's that's my there hope. Is one drawback oh wait you don't have a turn one play nope uh, i mean i did mulligan 
Oh, Grazer. Uh, so uh, the deck okay, lists are all. This is the issue. Are all, all right, on the page. So I'm going to play Goose. Mm -hmm. and you're you're going to love this. You're going to uh, love this. Okay. Honk I guarantee honk. it. Yeah. Uh, honk Honk. Is this Grazer too? Yes, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Grazer, the sequel. <laughs> no, uh, it, it's going to be much better. Krim is uh, Krim's not streaming. All right. <laughs> Okay, uh, my friend Grazer sending the message. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting in that zero damage, and the issue is I don't have the third land. That was, but that was a good draw. Uh, how is how is volume on. chat? Is are we roughly are we roughly equal? Eh, a little bit of ramping, and you can go. Are we are we good chat volume wise? Mm. Yeah, Krim uh, hasn't streamed any of these. If we do it in the future, though, perhaps we will. Uh, we'll do another I one. I need. Oh, you need lands. This is a this is a Krim Commander Clash keep. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is <laughs> if very... I draw the lands, this hand's gonna be great. <laughs> yep. If I draw lands, this hand is going off. Uh, I could. I'll turn down uh, uh, Crib slightly. Do... Okay. Okay. So first, tap that. Crib was kind of loud to me too. You so. Go. Ooh, that's that's good though. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Hmm. Should I block the goblin? Yes. <laughs> How's the volume now? Is it better? All right, we'll take it. 19. Oh, uh, yep. All right, your turn. All you after that. Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So if we do that... Hmm. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I mean, I have, I have good cards. I just don't know if they're good at the moment. We're going to find out. Uh... How about in no oh, that's, that's a pretty good card, yeah. So that's I guess we just card. make a food and pass for now, I think. I was thinking about, like, elking your war, war boss, but I don't know if that actually helps oh. any. I just drew an agent of treachery. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you almost Wrong. lost in the first round because you drew three agent of treacheries one game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was as sad as it sounds. This is where Oko gets a little annoying. This is a this is our first game because so zero, zero. you have six loyalty. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to have a three CMCU planeswalker that goes up to six. That is a uh, not bad. Yeah, one would say that's all right. <laughs> well, well, Grazer beats again. This is the friskiest Grazer I think I've ever seen. Hey, what's up, Minxie? Check this out, you? though. Drink some water. <laughs> How do you feel about that one? <laughs> well, that's actually a good. That's a good grazer. Ugh, do you have to block here? We probably do. Ugh, I feel bad. I feel bad about it. Ugh. One, two, three. I mean, I guess technically Oko lives. If I don't sure does. block, eh, we're gonna block. I feel that's like uh, I feel like Warbrass is like your second best card, maybe, or one of like outside of your Winota combo stuff. Like as far as threats, it's one of the best ones in your deck, I think. It's not bad. It's not bad. I definitely wouldn't complain about it. Ooh, what are we doing here? Blinking the Grazer? <laughs> no, oh, I had to try. I mean, I could blink the Goose. <laughs> oh, wow. Red for life oh, for wow. the ninth month. Welcome um, to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoop here for you. Okay, hey, what's up, Ed Bowser? is interesting. Hello, hello. Good to see ya. Water time. I think I have to get the land. Or I have to get go get a land. But this is... You know what? This is interesting. Okay. Uh, so, let's see. One to the top, one to the bottom. So, uh, Winona bottom, Agent Treasury to the top. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think yes. I, I think I figured out your your plan. I don't I don't think I can bottom any more agent of treacheries. <laughs> Let's just go with that. <laughs> I mean, you're only like 5 mana away from casting them and stealing my Oko, so. Yeah. It feels bad I've drawn them. <laughs> I mean, I I've guess... drawn two of them in a row. <laughs> Four and a half maybe if you uh if you yeah. get food with the goose, you're getting there. You're almost there. <laughs> uh... 
Oh uh, yeah, Modest Mouse so is uh, is one of my favorite bands, and um, it's a, a good shirt. I feel like we're in good shape because we have this for Dexter. All right, we're gonna go for deck thinning. <laughs> that would be the grim thing to do. Ooh, all right. Thankfully, it's I mean, a two I drop, so I don't get Winota. Oh boy, I'm no. glad I blocked that uh, Legion War Boss. <laughs> if I didn't block that War Boss, that would have been a Winota and game. Ish. Yup, yup. Uh -huh. I didn't. I didn't. I, I had a scry for that on top. And you didn't have it at the time. Yeah. Warboss, but yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I mean, we're just gonna keep hitting Oko mm, until. That's boy. That's part of what makes Oko so good. <laughs> it's still you've attacked it with everything, and you have a big board, two turns in a row, and it's still not dead. <laughs> yeah, it's so problematic. Eh. And, like, I mean, I could swing with the Prince, but you're probably blocking that. Is this five mana? I feel like I, I don't have enough 3-3s, three Grim. Three oh, God, it's a five mana. Okay, <laughs> I'll concede. <laughs> I'll, I'll concede. Like, th there's no purpose in playing this game out now. I mean, can't you win if you just draw Winota? I have Winota. <laughs> oh, so you're actually you're actually not that far from winning, well, technically. Well, it's Winota and, and, and three Agent of Treacheries in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's, that's a, it's a replay of uh, <laughs> of that last round. It feels really bad because I consecutively drew Agent of Treacheries when I was like, if I drew a land, <laughs> this is very good. Oh, is it? I, I lower rolled. Whatever, whatever I've done to upset the RNG deities, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, good. Subscription, big subscription here. <laughs> Another, number four? Number four? Number four? No, no, no. Oh, I'm not that lucky. I don't have the, the full house, but I got another Winota. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, one, two. <laughs> hmm. I mean, uh, huh. what else can you hit? So your agents are more or less gone. Kenriths? Is that the other Yeah, player? I have w one. Uh, let me let me take a look here. I I recall the list has maybe one Kenrith or something I, like that. I feel like a Kenrith came down last game, so there's got to be one. Yeah, because I remember it it smashing me. There's two. Okay. There's two, but that's not enough. Right? Yeah, like, you, that's not hmm. enough. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. yeah we'll see. You might actually be in trouble after next turn. <laughs> I'm 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 very sure I'm in trouble because <laughs> like okay, so I have to send the forces. To swing into your Oko. And, don't and then you your Nissa just freely makes... I, I think I'm dead. Welcome like, to the fishbowl. I can't thank steal you anything, so much for can your I? But all right, whatever. You. Thank I'll just, thank I'll just you. attack uh, your mana doubler, because I'd rather not. Ah, uh, You block I, the war boss. You gotta, Nothing you gotta, dies. You got to spite attack the Nissa, Krim. You hate Nissa. I feel like I, I, do, I do hate Nissa, and that's why I just want to spite attack her, but realistically, <laughs> I can... Kill Oko, so I will. This deck is pretty insane. My deck, I think. I think there was a reason it was the number one overall seed. I mean, yeah, correct. Okay, uh, so Oko, Oko's going away. Sure. One really, really big uh, <laughs> grazer. Uh, At least I've got a 2 5 grazer before I die. Interesting. Yeah, I guess I can't stop it from dying anyway, so Oko down. But let's see, this might oh no, that's not ideal. This might be the concession turn. Let's let's see here. Uh so oh, we got to, boy. We got to have right. some mana. <laughs> Is it like Hydro Crisis or something like that? Uh something like that. Uh play this untapped. Okay, shocking. Alright, nice. That's comforting. All right. So I think this looks like what? Go to combat. Twelve. You should 12 go to mana? combat. Go to combat. Go to combat. I, I have you, a. You're, have you're losing point. out on three damage. <laughs> you're losing out on three damage. Oh, Seth, that's wait, a misplay. Just wait. Uh, uh, I'm not happy. <laughs> I already know I'm not happy. Yep. Okay. I'll concede right here. <laughs> I'll concede right now. I don't I, have to see anything else. I almost was gonna leave the grazer. Just you know, out of out of my spite, <laughs> but I figured it would be correct <laughs> to take all of them. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that's correct. That's correct. I mean, I thought I would at least get to keep my two five grazer, but I guess not, Seth. But I guess not. Uh, yeah. We... So like, my hand was like very good if I drew one more land. 
because I had the Winota, but then instead I drew seven drops. Yeah, that's that's tough. There's uh, yeah. just variants. We do have a a Commander mm. Legend spoiler. I think Tomer is going to be doing most of it because he's kind of uh, kind of the Commander guy. But yes, there will be a Commander Legends preview in the beginning. You of know November. what? I figured it out. I know how I can decrease the chances of drawing agents if I just sideboard them out. <laughs> I just that, them that, out. Sounds, I, I won't. that sounds right. It take, I mean, you might as well take out your Winotas, too. You didn't <laughs> yeah. even get to four mana last game, so take the Agents of the Winotas yeah. out. And, uh, the and curve just... is too high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Irrelevant merfolk. <laughs> Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big tube for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to sideboard here. Uh, take, take out your Nissas. That might actually be worth it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we've mana had... doubling sucks. Yeah, so bad. <laughs> mana doubling is cheating. Just remember that. Krim, have you tried a have you tried a Forsaken Monument deck yet in Standard or someplace? I I I've tried Jerry Thompson's Mono Blue one. Oh, how uh, how did that go? It was pretty fun. Uh, I mean, I I got like ran over pretty hard by Mono Green, but but like it was pretty fun because I did not live long enough to even cast my Ugin. I mean, mono green stompy. By the way, like they they just literally went right to town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We tried a, a mono black build yesterday, and it was kind of like clunky. It, it felt very dependent on monument. Like if we had monument, the deck was like really insane. But when we didn't have it. It wasn't good. But we do technically still have a mana doubler. But maybe a mana doubler like that's bad enough that it's <laughs> it's safe. I don't know. Like yeah, maybe I, it's maybe it's okay it's for standard. It's more narrow than bad. Yeah, oh yeah, like like it is it's great and historic, right? I mean, at least I think so. But uh but yeah, like the I, I did try a mono black deck this past week that relied on Kervik, Clackbridge Trolls, and Vito. So like even if I like it was kind of a build around with like so Vito, even if they sack a goat, they take three. <laughs> That's <laughs> and sweet. I draw a card. I like I like it. Uh did our spoiler cards leak? <laughs> Um, Come on! No, no Come combat. On. The entire set league. Get in there. Uh, you and your grazers, Grim. You and your grazers. You just wait. You <laughs> just wait. Huh. So you could have a no to this turn, couldn't you, Krim? I could. That is correct. I but could. you only have a grazer. <laughs> That's not that. All First right, well, off, I think we'll just we'll just. First pass. off, what are oh. you getting at? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. We're good. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, you're welcome, Epic Potato. Good to see you. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, right, the bracket well, command here, I can, I can update Surprise! It. I don't. That's not bad, though. It's two power on board. So, uh, yeah, I, I like it. I like it a lot. One of these days, though, Seth, I'm, go I'm going to have a smooth... Uh, draw of cards where I draw all the lands I need. Really, when I say all the lands I need, I want four. I started with a three lander this game. I, I thought I'd get there. I did not get the fourth land, but I don't this... even have a fourth land or anything to do with the fourth <laughs> land except for I specifically want to leave up mana for something, but I'm putting it to the bottom if you either go this. this is... oh, okay. <laughs> this is this is full on commander style. Like yep. <laughs> double double yep. mana screw. Yep. One land. One <laughs> land and I could have I could have prevented that brace and borrower, not because I have anything. Uh alright, we'll just we'll just keep passing. I guess we're the, the control deck now. Kid Koozie! Welcome to Visual. Uh -huh. Thank you so much right, for your subscription. Big super cheer for you. Alright, here we go. Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful, Seth. Say it with me. It's beautiful. Oh, that's that's too beautiful, Grim. I think that uh needs to go back to your hand, maybe. I got I got all the borrowers. <laughs> I mean, I am gonna try, so this way I force your mystical dispute. I do not have one, so yeah. Uh oh, the beatdown commences. Yeah, planning on doing the entire top eight today. Not Never the, needed not the more top than four. four lands. The whole this is why I wanted the fourth land, so I could do this plus hold up a dispute. 
with your with your land troubles, Krim, I would assume you'd be like an aggro player. Like with how much your oh. mana is screwed, you should just play like burn or mono red, and then what are you know, got two lands? That's what you want. You would be like deadly as a burn player because when if you draw your third you or fourth land, your odds of winning goes down. You got to play to your strengths, Krim. <laughs> you would think. I, I trust me. I've already like thought about that, right? And you know what happened? <laughs> I drew all my lands. I get flooded on accident. <laughs> I think one of the best things is I had a board with three Delvers, and the opponent would have been dead at any point if I had hit a spell, but I drew all my lands in my 18 land deck. It felt great. That's sarcasm. Ouch. It didn't feel good. <laughs> uh, the Winona deck, Agent of Treachery, was uh, was a banned card. Oh. Uh, are those two cards in hand oh, agents, Krim? No. No. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. As unlucky this time. Oh, I feel death coming. I feel death coming. I'm just happy that one of the things swinging is Grazer. Oh, yeah. good. Uh, right. Okay, well, that's damage. Yeah, all right, whiff, 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 whiff. I mean, you only really need one agent, and I'm done. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Well, I, want to. I think do that's I want a... To land? I do want I will I save you to the decision, Krim. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't. So <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have any sweepers, so there's just not really anything I can do from here. You get to steal my stuff, and then you get to do it again next turn. So I don't think there's any way I get out of it from there. Ooh, psychologist. I mean, Welcome okay. To you, you, I you I, I understand Big that is for you. <laughs> but should I have taken your land or your wolf? I like taking you off your resources, so. It slows you down a turn. Yeah, I think that was the right call. It's hard to pass up taking a land, I think. And the wolf doesn't really matter too much, so I, yeah. I don't know. And, I and see you are right for the wolf, I, but... I do struggle with hitting lands, so, you know, that's where I just use your land instead. <laughs> yeah. so. that, that's very smart. Just uh, <laughs> That makes up for it. Just dig all mine. Uh, yeah. Oh, hmm. Brilliant. Well, that didn't go well. I, I would say otherwise, but I think I might be biased. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe Vale's worth it. Is it worth it? Ugh. Like, what are we cutting, though? I feel like even cutting this Nissa is probably bad. Maybe Wicked Wolf's not worth it. Like, what maybe... seed is this again? Uh, like, my, my deck, at you're least? The, the you're the one... eight seed. You're the eight, eight seed. seed. I'm the one seed. You're the eight seed. So you're actually the lowest seed left in the tournament trying to pull off the upset here. Oh, <laughs> it would be pretty uh, hilarious to watch the one seed lose early. Uh, as I know, you know, <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. We're going to a game three. Hey, aren't the Buffalo Bills like undefeated right now? By the way, Seth, <laughs> are are you mocking me, Grim? No, no, no. Oh, I, 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 oh no. They, I, I mean, they just they just played <laughs> yesterday and got absolutely like brutalized by Kansas City. So I thought maybe I thought that oh, was but maybe it's, a snarky but that's Kansas remark. City. No, <laughs> no, they're, no, they're not no, bad. No, they're not I, I bad. Didn't, they're, I didn't watch that game. Yeah, no, no. Uh, they they were doing well until yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, it's not like I can make fun of anybody. I'm a Broncos fan, so literally we're like one How? in five or something like that. You did beat the Patriots though, so that was sweet. Um, how did how did you have a Broncos fan like that's uh my dad he wa he he loved Stanford players and oh. so watching Stanford games and uh you know John Elway was a uh, from Elway, Stanford that, and, that makes sense yep and it just led to me watching Broncos games not necessarily because of John Elway I mean oh not because of like Stanford I just or or, or Elway I just watched it because it was Broncos and that's what was on Old Wolf, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your right, subscription. No, you're subscription lucky, you. Seth. This turn, no, this game, no turn one grazer. So count your blessings. No O3 swinging in next turn. What is this, Seth? <laughs> Same <laughs> art too. Goose, goose versus goose. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I dodged the grazer for once, which is good. <laughs> the goose is loose. <laughs> the geese are lease. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the geese are lease. Oh, there, there's. How do you feel about this though? There's a. I thought you said there wasn't gonna be a grazer this game, Krim. No, no, I said turn one grazer. I feel like I was deceived. But that doesn't. Now you have the turn two grazer Untapped. tactically, or maybe I just drew that. <laughs> Untapped. I mean, I get What's to have two mana. That? Yeah. I don't. All right, we're gonna just pass the turn, I guess. Oh, Winota's scary. Winota's a scary deck to play against. Isn't it? <laughs> I was born in Colorado during the LA era, so my um, family's been Broncos fans all my life. I lived in. Well, I mean, I guess. Let's go looking. 
I lived in Parker Wait, for a while. What am I doing here? And at one point, I worked at a dry cleaners. And uh, the highlight of working at the, the dry cleaners oh, in is. Parker. Silly moto. Was uh, Jake Plummer got his dry uh, yeah, cleaning done there. there. It was when he was uh, <laughs> the quarterback. So, so yeah, that was, uh, that was my Denver quarterback story. Uh, go. <laughs> I mean, at least it wasn't a Minota. I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah. I mean, I'd like one of those. Why are you leaving up this mana, Krim? I'm trying to make food. I'm trying to cook for you, Seth. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Well, I guess I got to pass again. So awkward. You gonna, I, <laughs> you're going to respect it now. Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. I can't even do that. I don't even have the mana. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm going to make a food. Likely ah. story. Yeah, well, I guess, <laughs> guess I won't be making food. <laughs> well, that feels bad. <laughs> Well, gee. Yeah, no one, no one wants to tap out. Gee, Williker, Scoob. I don't know. All right. Well, I'm gonna try for this one. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I guess that's good. Are we gonna catch in a food to scry? We probably are. Interesting. Very interesting. Um. That's not what you want to hear. That's not what nope. you want. Interesting is never what you want to hear. I don't like hearing interesting, Graham. That's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping. For I mean, like, I'm just oh, and then like scry two to the bottom. Oh no no no! <laughs> it's it's two to the top. Two to the top. Well, let's see. Let's see if we. Hey, hold on! <laughs> I had to pay. I I don't get to do that every turn. This isn't fair. I mean, I I can scry two. I think that's fair. No. You you should be playing around my Winota and stuff, right? Because I mean, I you should have held back on the castle. I get to steal your castle if I. What do I do? What I need to do? What do we do here? Oh, so crim has been leaving this man oh. up all game. That makes me think food tokens are online. He has a counter. I don't have any dual. Yes. Oh, do I have to pass? <laughs> oh my goodness, passing feels so bad. Um. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna pass again. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I really great. don't know if I. I really don't know great. if I'm playing this right. <laughs> I'm just so scared of Winona. <laughs> I'm just gonna get to the man of the cast. I know you're almost there. You're like one land away. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, at some point. Uh, let me think here. So, so if we play Nissa and then Krim counters, we have to counter back, and then we don't have the ability because we don't have a dual land to untap. Uh -huh. We can't leave a brazen borrower to not die to Winota. <laughs> so All that's right. that was the calculation there. So I think we're gonna scry for a land and then go for it. Krim. Yes. Hmm. How, uh, how about dis I, I would like to dispute that. Uh, I too would like to dispute that. Your your dispute, not my <laughs> my, my Winota. Guess what, Grim? You got another one? Nope, your favorite. Oh, <laughs> it's still legal. It's still legal. Oh my god. Oh, I hate that card so much. Why? Why does that card exist? Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh I guess we'll not pay for mystical dispute. I hate dispute. that card so much. <laughs> oh, that was way better than having oh, a second mystical dispute. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. You drew a card off it. Are you kidding? Me? I can't even mystical dispute that. That's the worst part. <laughs> and and just like the psychological advantage of <laughs> being able oh, to get yeah. you with it. <laughs> oh, I hate that card so much. I forgot. I just completely forgot that card was still legal. Guess what's next? <laughs> uh, <woo! laughs> it's my favorite. I got I got all your favorite cards. Just yeah, one after yeah. another. If I, only oh. Carnage Shirent was in this deck, it would be the, no, the anti-Grim deck. I think I, I'm okay with it not being in this deck. <laughs> oh, that that sucks so much. Yeah, that, that, you even had the counter up, too. Like, you did everything you could, but Veil of Summer is just a messed up magic card. 
<laughs> yeah, turns out that card's pretty strong. Uh, it's it's not bad. Who would have thought? And uh, I feel like maybe maybe we dodged the bullet and we're where we need to be now. Um. Uh oh. Wait. Wait. Inzu speed shenana. Ooh. Hmm. Mail of summer. <laughs> you may as well. I wish. Nope. Uh. But we will leave it on top. I think. That's a good good enough to draw next turn. How about another planeswalker? <laughs> uh. Sure. Hmm. Wait, so that would come before my Nissa? Um You know what? We'll put we'll put Oko to the bottom, I guess. That's comforting. Yeah, no no uh no Oko's to deal with. But we had a lot of interaction too, but not the not, not, not as good as uh... Noda, yeah, not Veil of Summer. Um sure. One the card worst in part? hand. Yeah. My man is a little awkward for this. If you have another Ether Gus Grim. <laughs> okay, good. Um... I I I am not a master. <laughs> I do not have that many <laughs> Ether Gus. I my man is very awkward. I haven't drawn any dual lands, and I only have two forests, so it's isn't the bestness I've ever seen. It's still Not okay, attacking? but... You're gonna kill my land. Why, why didn't you attack? When you kill what my land? What are you talking about? <laughs> I feel like you would block readily. <laughs> hey, what's up, uh, <laughs> Shunadu? Seth, please. Sh should we be attacking? <laughs> All right, Seth. Just, are, just Are you hard just casting agent? Oh, yeah, Grim, just Grim, just Grim. Me. Just kill me. <laughs> it's over. Show me it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I got yep. I got another one. <laughs> oh. The Oko's on the bottom though, so you're good. You're good. No, I'm not. <laughs> this is I, I, I still am a firm believer that Oko paid for Nissa's sins. Not that Oko <laughs> is like an, a, a balanced card, but Nissa is just far greater a card. Yeah, I mean I think I think that is kind of true. In standard, that might yeah, actually standard, be true. Standard. I mean, Oko probably had to go too, but yeah. Right, right. This is really busted. Can uh... we close out the game, though? Like, the scary thing about Winota is I still feel like you just draw a Winota and win. I mean, I have to. That's that's my out, right? And, and even then, it's like you will have an army of 3-3 three, three haste vigilant lands, right? Uh, and you have... Like if if you're refilling your hand with the crisis or something right now, like it, it's likely to be over though. Well, I am going to uh, do a little a little craw craw. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Uh hmm. After seeing the cards that I drew, <laughs> is it safe to say it's over? <laughs> Can I stop staring at Nissa? <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll tell you what my draws were. It was another crisis and two ether gusts. <laughs> So I guess oh. you could draw Agent of Treacheries, but... Alias Babylon! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you okay. so much for your subscription. Big soup to you for you. Wait, Krim, I can't ether guess that, though. That's, <laughs> that's, that's cheating. <laughs> Correct. I mean, I, I gotta do what I can while I, while I can, right? So I'm gonna do this now, and then I'll just go, like... I don't know, sacrifice a token or something, or uh, the Hanged Executioner later to get rid of your Hydro Crisis. Although I might be dead. Honk honk. <laughs> um, bottom, I guess. Uh, hmm. not looking good. Because you're going to have a follow-up Crisis, so there's not even, like, any... I would have to like legitimately draw Winota right now and hit three Agent of Treacheries. And you have Ether Gust. And you have two times the mana. So I think it's safe to say it's over. Because I, I, I can't ever get through this from this point. Uh yeah. It might alright, hang on. Let's this might seal it here, I think. <laughs> Are you gonna steal my Okay, sure. You got it. <laughs> Yeah. 
So, uh, yeah, sack some food, mm-hmm. kill the Kenrith, because that could theoretically reanimate Winota, which... One, oh, thank you. No problem. I'm just going to expedite this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my wolf has to tap, though, but... Uh, all right. Oh, no mercy. <laughs> kill me, Seth. I don't want to play against this deck anymore. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. We're getting there. <laughs> I'll even attack with I'm my hand. Even... You can kill it if you want. Down to two. I'm not even blocking. I'm trying uh, to expedite the losing. Now, uh, now oh. I, think, I think you're out of outs. But hold on. Check this out. I drew my out. Surely you don't have anything to answer me, right? Uh. Seth, just... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just convince you not to use it? <laughs> and and let me attack... <laughs> Let me attack, see if I even get the Agent of Treacheries. You know? You know? Because I'm, I'm still dead anyways, right? I would have to, because there's no amount okay. Re- of resolves. Agent of resolves. resolves. I'll be nice. Resolves. Okay. 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 I just commi- I just politicked. This is great. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Uh... Anything I steal... Immediately just gets taken. Oh come on! <laughs> I'll, you, I'll well, give I... you. I'll give you one trigger. You have one. You have what? one trigger. One. <laughs> Seth, please. <laughs> Why? I I just want to be sporting here, and plus I wanted to see this grazer attack for zero. <laughs> <laughs> we got grazer, goose, dispute, neoform, sacred foundry, temple garden. Oh, All grazer, right. grazer. Oh, it's not a human. That- not only did I lose on board, but I also took the moral L on top of that. <laughs> the morale is at an all-time low. Let's go to the next Ooh. one. All right. That was so... like everything I never wanted to happen. I got Veil of Summered. <laughs> I got I whiffed on my last hit after you let things resolve. So even your pity resolution didn't do anything. Oh, perfect so... storm of sadness. So I think actually, I think that's a pretty good example of uh, of the decks. We got to see the Winota deck do its thing, where it can just, like, go off and win the game in game two. But then we also saw, like, there's a piece of disruption, the Winota gets countered, and then all of a sudden, like, yeah, technically you can put up a bit of a beatdown, but really, you got Charming Princes and, like, random 1-1s. I'm making Elks and Nissa lands. So it's definitely tough if the Winota doesn't resolve. I think, especially with the four main deck Aether Gusts, probably just favored in that matchup i would say i mean it was close I mean, though yeah because like it, it it doesn't like for me like if you know example what card to like pay attention to which is winota like you're fine right i mean i don't know i don't know how like you know we can even do anything about that uh especially with fail of summer too <laughs> that was that was actually the turning point of the game i think that winning the counter war with one of my band cards the sideboard veil of summer and that uh that swung the whole thing really i mean yeah the veil of summer just instant like because i mean after that it was over right i mean i was out of gas i had nothing else to do well i don't think you're gonna be out of gas in our next matchup most likely uh, so next up we got the big mana decks. Uh, this uh, this matchup, we have four color Omnath against uh, Luka Fires. So, uh, Krim, what do you think yeah. about what do you think about this matchup? You're on the Luka Fires side. Last time you played against Bant Ramp, uh, playing Luka Fires, and you just kind of like destroyed it with your Planeswalkers. Do you think the same thing's gonna happen, or is the Omnath deck? more explosive than bat ramp and can have a chance to get going before you get like your planeswalker lock set up so the upside for your deck here is that i don't have like anything main board right to deal with a turn two cobra i have sweepers and like teferi to bounce it so depends on how much you how fast you can go off on that one turn you have a cobra and whatnot but like once I get my tokens out, and if you allow me to get all of that out, and then Luca, I just steal all your stuff. Now you do play like, do you play like? I don't know if your the list had stomp. I think it did, but if it doesn't, then great. But if it does, then you could just stomp what I target, the token I target, and then like kind of just, kind of just like dunks on me right there, right? But hopefully Teferi turns off your interaction. So so yeah, I have. Uh, stomps in the sideboard, but not in the main deck. So in main deck, uh, I think you're uh, you're good to go. I really don't know. I'm definitely worried. I remember last time, like yes, you have to ferry. 
I don't care a ton about Teferi compared to, like, the Bant Ramp deck, which is very counter-heavy. I do care a little bit, though. Like, Teferi's just a good card. On the other hand, you know what card really scares me is Narset, because yep. Omnath, Uro, Genesis Ultimatum. Like, what my deck wants to do is draw a bunch of cards. Maybe Omnath's Landfall Trigger is going to be a big deal. Uh, I kind of forget about the Flame Wave for Planeswalkers text on Omnath. That's, like, the least used and exciting part. But in this matchup, four damage to all Planeswalkers might actually be pretty relevant if I could get to the point of making it happen. It's a little tricky. you got to get the extra land drop somehow. So I really don't know. My guess would be, and chat seems to, uh, chat seems to think that you're probably favored here. Uh, I don't know though, so I guess uh, I guess we're gonna find out. Regardless, we got two really explosive decks, two decks that can do really powerful things pretty quickly. I think my guess is you're a little bit favored because I feel like you're more disruptive than I am. Like we both yeah. can do explosive things, but you have more like stacks pieces interaction that my deck just doesn't have access to. So kind of like we saw last game, I feel like. If you can counter, like, a key spell or two, or stick the Narset, I'm going to really struggle, just like if you can stop the Winota, the Winota deck doesn't look that good. If you can stop my Genesis Ultimatum or whatever, like, sure, let me make a bunch of Lotus Cobra mana. What's it really doing if I can't have some sort of finisher resolve to uh, put the game away? Yeah, I mean, that. like, my, my concern will be your Cobra. Your Cobra on two. Because, you know, if you're on the play, I've got nothing for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm in a mulligan for the Cobra. <laughs> uh, all right, so we have our first deck through to the top four. It is Simic Food. Right now, we're going to find out who will meet Simic Food next week in the top four match. Four Color Omnath or Luka Fires, uh, are you ready for the challenge, Grim? Yep. All right, this time I will try not to trade you first. I mean, if you want to trade, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll trade. Uh, I'll trade you my spike field hazards for your narsets. <laughs> oh, that seems like a bad deal. <laughs> However, that could happen at some point, right? I mean, narset does only minus. Narset yeah. ultimates immediately upon hitting the board. That's pretty broken. Wait, why is? Oh, I see. Um, boom. All right, here we go. We made it. We figured it out. Who do you think, chat? Who do you think? Who's going to win this matchup and make it to the top four? Give me your predictions. Teferi. We're getting near the end. <laughs> oh, please no. How? Ooh, we get the win. Do we get the Cobra uh, to go with it? This is this is not the start I want you to have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Huh. What a weird hand. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I Wait, guess... Wait, why? I guess I keep... Uh, my hand is... <laughs> I have three Rugrun Triomes and three Uros. <laughs> and that's, that's the hand. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess we're keeping... No, no, uh, <laughs> no Lotus Cover. We'll try it. Okay. <laughs> So what you're saying is I need to pray that you don't draw a green source. Uh, yeah, that would that would probably be good for you. In your green dominant deck. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, Steam Vents, <laughs> go ahead. Now, post-board, I do feel a little more comfortable about Cobra, but, like, and, and all the wild and, like, wonky spells you cast, but for right meow. Forest, forest, forest. No forest. Say it. Say no it with forest. me, chat. <laughs> no forest. Please, let's get a, please Let's no get forest. the wave going. Um, no forest. Put oh your forest boy. away. Don't draw it. Wrong. Yes. Basic. <laughs> Said you had three triumphs. That's not a triumph. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Wait. Are Wait, you, you passing? Oh, did you pass it? Oops. You passed it to my turn already. Wow. Look at that. All right. Well, I, luckily I didn't F six. So yeah, I thought you almost, main. <laughs> almost passed your turn there. Woo! <laughs> uh, first oh round Simic Food got oh. through uh, <laughs> Simic Food took down Winota in a three game match the bracket, uh, whoever is updating this we go, you thank you so much you need to get something good but it's being updated what is this, am I sad? no, it's my third my third triome <laughs> getting cycled 
Shit the green. Uh, okay, uh, we found it. No, no. Wait, don't do it. I guess oh. it's I guess it's Uro Uro time for a minute. Hey, that's banned. <laughs> oh wait, most of these decks are. Ooh, that was not the worst draw. Oh, no. We're getting there. The magic gods are smiling upon us. Oh, don't don't narset us, Crim. No narsets. Um. Shark time. Getting there. 23 yeah, a, turn, Seth. 23 turn clock. I mean, that's that's kind of scary-ish. <laughs> oh, baby shark. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Oh, no. Ugh. Cram free spells. That's a bad card. Disqualified. Uh, yeah. <laughs> free spells are, are, I hear, not good. Uh, the companion rule is not cheatable, yeah, unfortunately. One. Yeah, it's uh, it's the current the current companion rule, Chad. Uh, you can't set Magic Online games to your own rules to that extent, unfortunately. So I guess Krim, you're technically a, a slight disadvantage. Like I don't know <laughs> how huge of a disadvantage it is. The new companion rule it is somewhat meaningful, but I don't think it's like I don't know going to shift the matchup from you being favored to being disfavored just because of that. Oh my god, so many triumphs. So, let's see. How? I mean, row oh, two? Row two. The sequel that we never asked for. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Seth, you ever worry that someday... Cards like Uro and Three Fairy won't be good anymore. Oh <laughs> because no! Because something will be better. Oh no! <laughs> you ever you ever think about that? Like I, I mean, I try not to say such scary things, but it is around Halloween, so you know, oh, like <laughs> you want to wow. see something truly scary. Like how? You ever thought about that though? Like oh, how broken would cards have to be to make cards like Teferi and Uro and so forth not good? I mean, oh. like I would say. Like, like, what would that be? Like a one mana to fairy time rabbit? Yeah, I gotta just keep cutting mana costs off of it. Oh, I feel like this is bad. Uh, when does the stream end? Uh, it's gonna be. We're only in match two out of four. We just started maybe this I'll bounce one. My shark. I'm kidding. So uh, a couple more hours, I would guess. Whenever we finish our matches, I could technically bounce, bounce that shark. Hold on here. You can pick up your uh, fires, and then you can cast two spells. Okay. Oh, that's good. Uh, Krim. <laughs> it's me, your boy. Oh, this is, this is really Oh. Bad. What did we get? <laughs> that's not very good. Oh, well, at least it wasn't a Luka. Oh, my hand is... This is what I was worried about. Now my hand is so much worse. You're trying to cast his uh, third you know, spell, Grim. I... That even in no, the no, bad no, no, bracket, not... <laughs> we still have rules. There's still rules here, Crib. <laughs> I make my own rules, Seth. No, I was gonna think about putting Yorion into play, but I realized I could just scry. Uh, one, two. Hmm. Uh oh. Is it ultimatum time? <laughs> no, not not with the Nar set out. I don't think. Oh, actually, Nar uh, ultimatum works, doesn't it? You just yeah. look at them. It's not technically drawing. I wish it said draw five and put... <laughs> Narset would swat that card so bad. Uh, how about a, How about a this? You do get to draw. I don't. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, don't kill me? <laughs> oh. Okay, so... Please? It's the friendly Omnath game. <laughs> My, yeah, it's the, it's a very fair Omnath. <laughs> this is the, okay, you're making Omnath look like it could be unbanned right now. <laughs> Hold on. I think it's your stacks pieces that are making it look fair, actually. Why are we doubles? Don't. Oh, if you find Luca, it's so bad. So, so bad. And you get yes. a million looks at it yeah. because you get to scry, you got a Narset, you get to draw for your turn because you get to draw cards still. Oh, on top? No, Crim. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, I guess this is probably game then. Like, what do I? Hmm. What do I do? 
I should God. get one damage in first. Hold on. Nurse, that's so good. Oh, wait, Desi J, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so well much for now. your subscription. Uh, what do I you. want? Probably your Omnath. Uh, but I can I can also set you off your fairy. Minions. Take a take it to fairy maybe. Narset. Actually, can... wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've only played one spell, so hey. I'm gonna just take your land. Uh, thanks. No problem. We got we got another one coming. Oh no! Are you just gonna cast an agent now that you have seven lands? Oh no! Oh. Uh. All right. Oh, this deck was pretty busted. <laughs> Your deck was pretty busted. I guess both were, but I I think that the fires, Wait. the Luca fires Wait. deck, it got banned so quickly. I think maybe I didn't get a full grasp of just how strong it could be, because fires have been around forever. But then after Luca came out, it didn't actually last that long before it got banned. Do -do -do. I really needed that land, Krim. I I figured. I think getting your mana be is better here. I mean, I could always just bounce my agent back and then do it again, but like, eh. I'll just make you play the Omnath again. Which I know you don't, like, the biggest thing here is you don't get to draw the card, right? And that that's huge for me, so. And it's nice to see uh. that I have back backup Planeswalkers, so... Yeah, I'm not even sure. I don't. I don't know if I can win from here. I I would say that if you cannot kill my Luca this turn, you're probably it, it's probably over because I have Castle Ardenvale in my hand, and I'm just gonna make another token and then exile it. Uh, yeah. Um. Hmm. So you're gonna get another agent. Yeah. All right, you go. I mean, I'm probably dead, but we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Hey, welcome, Pork Blade. Good to have you. Thank you for the cheer. Uh, you still think that Luca Fires is the best band right, deck? So well, go with this. We're gonna we're gonna find out, but Cap you might be right. And we got a, a new token. donation. Luckily, for Teferi Rome. says no, no on the interaction, so you'll Gory, like that. Uh, Gory and uh, let's Seth. go and do that. Over the test, uh, the course of testing all these decks, you think Wizards shouldn't um, ban everything and let the Timmies figure it out? I, I think if no. I just keep you off your lands, that's great. But, Thank you for the donation. Like, if, if I let you get to the ultimatum mana, ultimatum is what triple blue. Uh, yeah, triple blue, double red, double green, I believe. I guess I'll take this. Uh, well, it's a clock. Yeah, these planeswalkers are so good. I mean, I think unbanning everything. Um, Standard's actually really yet, good right, right so now, so I don't that think that I would want everything well. unbanned. Oh, cool. So I can go ahead and do this. Go ahead and get my Yori on. Play it. Oh, and then okay. now <laughs> that's, yeah. that's it. we've had enough. We've had enough. I tried to stick it out a little bit longer, but no, no, that's that's it. <laughs> that that oh. makes sense. <laughs> that was pretty oh. gross. So I, I don't know if I should have kept that hand. It's possible that that I should have just mulliganed that hand. Like I did hit my mana, but your planeswalker is just so good. They they uh, Narset. That's a card I'm afraid of, and it proved itself to be very good there. Hmm. Well, good old Teferi, you know, helping me draw Narset was was nice. It was comforting. I I mean, I th I don't know. I I think you have tons of ways. Like if I recall that, like because originally those lists had Ugin and whatnot. So like I just really didn't want you to get to an Ugin. So. That, that that was pretty much what I was trying to play to. So, like, cutting you off your resources, the only way you could then get me is next turn, you would, be, like, I would have definitely taken a land if I if I didn't, uh, if, if I didn't have the mana or to go and put Yori on in hand. So. Yeah, there was also to Fairy to stop our disputes. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, you, would, you did the right thing by taking the mana, because I did have... Uh, the turn that you stole the first land, I could have Genesis ultimatum the next turn, and who knows what would have happened from there. But there's a chance things could have went really poorly for you. So attacking the mana was definitely, definitely the right plan. Yeah, it feels like just like letting you get your resources going. I mean, now it's a little more terrifying because I'm on the draw. I mean, I am on the. I was on the draw last time too, I guess, and I I got lucky. You didn't have Cobra. Your hand was triple Uro and three Rogren Triomes. I don't know what the mystery card was, but. 
It was a it was a mystical dispute, but oh, oh wait, I was like, why did you counter my fires? But I'm just gonna answer that question myself by staring at what color fires of invention is. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You and only then... had two mana, right? Yeah, I didn't have enough mana to counter a fires, and then once fires was down, it didn't really do anything because you could resolve your Teferis and pay for it in your Narsets. Uh, well, luckily, I, wonder... I top decked Teferi <sighs> like a like a skillful magician. <laughs> what do you? <laughs> hmm. I have these ruin crabs in my sideboard. I keep trying to figure out if there's any way. <laughs> so I have a full play set of ruin crabs. Like, yeah. But you're an eighty card so... deck, which feels bad. You could really try i mean that's the alternate win con right to go for the good old ultimatum get five lands with like multiple crabs yeah i mean i it was able to mill out yarian decks in our current standards so i guess it's possible and once again if you have a did you bring it in because i think if you have like a turn one crab and a turn two crab <laughs> i think this is over. you're just done you don't even need the rest of the cards you just go uro and you just keep putting lands in the play <laughs> This hand's, this hand's fine. This hand's, it's not insane, but it's fine. This hand has seven Magic the Gathering cards that I enjoy, so... Uh, what pathway? All right. Um, boom. My my favorite land. <laughs> Rod and Triome, huh, Seth? And maybe we, I see you. Maybe we should have brought in Will. <laughs> I will I'm, follow that exact line. I'm still not sure on the crabs if they're worth it or not. Oh. I'm not gonna lie to you, these Triomes have really helped me play my three color decks. Like without them, oh, I don't oh, even know where I'd be right now. These Triomes are so important. They're really I, good. I hope they finish out the cycle. I, I, I want I want more of these, like the Jund one and all of that. Like I, I don't know when they would do it, but I, I they they need to do it. It's so good for the standard. Yeah, I would be down with uh with having the full cycle. It sounds like we're getting the the pathways, I think, yes. in Caldheim. We're getting the pathways. So I don't know when they would show up, but I hope they do give us the, the rest of them at some point. Hey, what's up, Doug? I mean, like, you can, instead of Triomes, whatever, you can make them, like, houses or schoolhouses in Strixhelm and, and whatever, Grixis, House Grixis or something like that, Triome land, whatever. I, I don't care. I just want a Triome. Uh, oh, boy. Hmm. Um... All right. What's what's the worst that can happen if we tap out here? Uh, <laughs> we lose, but <laughs> <laughs> green, blue. We'll see. Um, green. Blue. Like if I resolve it to fairy, I don't care about any more of your interaction, right? Because I assume your deck still like you must have brought some of it in. I don't believe that you just left all your mystical disputes out. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to take them all out, although it is risky with how we saw it play out last game. It was super bad. Yeah, because, like, once there's zero interaction, I, I very freely just do what I want, right? And that that is a problem. However, if you're tapping out, that means that whatever you've got next turn has to be better than, like, it has to, like, be where you're okay, even if even if I resolve a Teferi. Yeah, who cares about Teferi? That's not that good. To fairy, to, to fairy? fairy. That card's a meme. <laughs> <laughs> People play that card. It's so bad. It's Aww. not to fairy. Well, I guess that's better than to fairy slightly. And you know what? That's also not to fairy. So I Ooh. think you're okay. All right, bullet dodged. You know what's what's worse? Escape to the Wilds isn't drawing cards. <laughs> oh! We have answers! Uh, Alright, here we go. So that wasn't too bad. We dealt with an R set. Minimal, minimal damage. Hmm. I was a little worried because if it was to Fairy Plus, <laughs> Thundering Rebuke uh, would be a little light of getting rid of it. So. <laughs> yeah, that would be a little awkward. Tapland Day. All right. Here go, Seth. Just hanging out. Um. Oh, uh, hmm. no. I don't like this. What are you doing? 
nothing that good. To... Nothing that just okay, just that... just a just in a row. Seth, just... if I recall, that 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 card is good enough to get on the ban <laughs> list. So nothing that good. That seems like a down downplaying that a little. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's no <laughs> fires into Narset into the fairy into Luca. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, okay, what you saw last game was a little bit disgusting. I'll admit, I'll admit that. Oh, do I want more Rogren Triumphs? No. Oh, good. <laughs> me me either. <laughs> no one wants oh. Rogren Triumphs. Uh-oh. Wow, I, I am very good at drawing Triumphs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am a very skilled Magic player. Let me tell you that. The, the level that I draw these Triumphs at, unbelievable. You really hate leaks and spoilers, oh. whether magic shows, movies, <laughs> that games. That was Teferi texting Why would anyone... me. Uh, well, I mean... Uh, can I have? I gotta I gotta try to stop this. You got one, one on the rebound? <laughs> Are we disputing? Oh, okay, it worked. Yeah. Maybe I, I, I have it, and I'm just holding out for the ultimatum. <laughs> Would you actually do that? Would you say no? Would you? Wow, you would. You definitely would have countered it back, wouldn't you have? You would have. I mean, may maybe. There's maybe I, no yeah, way. Maybe I'm just waiting for the ultimatum. There's no way. I can't imagine. <laughs> no, I don't know, Seth. You got to play around it, dude. I left one blue mana open up. What else would there be, though? I chose not to counter that. I mean, I can't not go for it. Eh. Wow, you <laughs> really did. All right. Well, that's what I get for not having any fear. Ooh. Oh, dear. I, I, yeah, like, I. to be honest with you, losing a fires is not the end, right? So, so this, what is the end, though, is if you go ultimatum, you hit Ugin and, like, five different things into Sunday, and then I get dunked on that way. That I cannot beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, once again, deck thinning. Oh, but yeah, I feel a six drop coming. Uh oh. A six oh, drop. How huh? bad? How bad is this gonna be, Grim? A six drop? I don't know. What? I don't what know. What six drop are you afraid of? Five drop. Five. Five drop. Luca. I know. Something scary. Okay, that's not that bad. No, no. Just hanging out. <laughs> Just hanging out. Totally not suspicious, just hanging out and passing the turn. Maybe the reason why I let that get I need to draw cards I didn't one have of these anything. days. <laughs> one of these days I need to draw some cards. Please, Grim. Let it resolve. Oh my god, it's all lands. <laughs> Only because you let my Winota. <laughs> okay. Well <laughs> and, and not because you have four mana open. <laughs> that was a that was a really bad escape to the wilds. <laughs> Was it though? I mean, you have a counter spell for the turn. That's pretty good. I think. Uh, right? I can't play Yorion. Oh my gosh. You're kidding, right? More triumphs? <laughs> I literally I, I, I cycled into a triumph. How, I f oh, wow. Magic Gathering. I feel like. Oh, <laughs> Magic I feel like, Gathering just happened. I feel like okay. we gotta leave up our um, counters now. Um. All right, I feel like well, playing the Genesis <laughs> Ultimatum was right. <laughs> Your turn, Seth. Nothing? No, I mean I have a Yorion that's gonna get countered by a Mystical Dispute. No, yeah, I guess you. I guess you gotta play around that since it's sitting right there. <laughs> you think I'm just gonna forget you have a Mystical Dispute or something? Oh, uh, how about this one? Yeah, that one's good. Oh boy, oh those were hits. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so so two Omnath triggers. Yeah. Wow. That's... All right, so we get a bit of mana. We get a bit of life. Uh-huh. I took eight, right? Or no, I, I take four? Because I do you get to play an additional land this turn on top of that, or is it just last turn? Uh, oh, only this. only this turn. But oh, you have another ultimatum. Maybe. 
Oh boy. Well, surely I can't just die this turn, right? I'm safe. I mean, we'll see. This is where that Arrested Development voiceover of Ron Howard, he was not. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So you're tapping seven mana to play Crag Crown Pathway Pass. I like it. Strong. Yeah, I mean, it's an expensive land. <laughs> strong. Very strong. No, darn. Number two? I mean, feels as good as the first one did. Well, okay, this one wasn't as good. Oh, oh. Okay, Seth. <laughs> you... oh, just two arrows, only two arrows. Oh, okay, Seth. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Okay, Seth. I mean, you could still steal all my stuff. Sure, sure. And I wouldn't like that. You have one blue mana? No, thank you. Oh, there's there's a cobra. If only we'd hit that earlier. See, they did balance Omnath because yeah. they tested it and they found out that it's very easy to trigger <laughs> landfall more than four times. So the card was balanced. Yeah, like Look at that. If you could trigger it more than four times, it'd be so broken. <laughs> oh my gosh, am I ever getting my turn again? Or are you just gonna? Get I don't me know. <laughs> I mean, I think, already feels... I think we're supposed to keep going. Like, that's kind of what this deck does. Uh. Yeah. Play that Actually... Ura. Yeah, I mean, I think we just go, go all the way. I mean, why not, right? I mean, at this point, we're committed. And you've already, you've probably already got stuff to do, like, to follow up. And, like, I don't even know what the worst case scenario looks like for you, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I guess even if you steal something, I don't know if it really matters that much at this point. Not really. And if you shut down my card draw, sure, I've kind of, like, already drawn my deck, so. <laughs> yeah. you have 19 cards left in your deck. There's no way you don't have an Ugin in hand. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of the problem. I'm running out of, like, lands I can hit and put into play. <laughs> that's the that's the drawback. That was a turd. That was a turd. Uh, I'm going to play an Omen. Ooh, Gain oh, two boy. life back. Yeah. I mean, that gives you something to sack to Luca if you have it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Should have held on to the fetches. Oh, but we can play a Uro. Something. Ooh. All right. Five, five triomes, please. <laughs> uh. Ooh. There, okay. There's a Luca. The game is on. It's not over yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet. I mean, that's about as much as you could hope for. I think is getting down your Luca, getting an agent. What do you take? This time you can take a land if you want. I'm gonna take Omnath. And it's probably a good call. Because at this point, if you if you attack, it doesn't do anything, right? Like, it, like the, the part I care about is you drawing the card. And obviously dying to a 6-6, six, six, but, like... <laughs> hmm. Yup. So get rid Pretty of that. good. Yep. How about that? <laughs> yeah, that's It's back. Good. And maybe one more of those. Oh, there's Ugin. How much mana do you have? Not enough. Three, six, seven. Actually, I have Omnath, so always enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kidding. you have Omnath. I... Am I just dead? This oh, I, you don't even, like... Oh, yeah, you should play uh, Ugin and just minus. I, that. Oh, man, you'd blow me out. I could never <laughs> recover if you did that. Please, sir. <laughs> Please, just, just minus. Yeah, that seems that seems like a bad idea. Wait, why didn't I get mana? Do it for, or did I? Do it for oh, I did six, get it. By the way, you did. Do you? I mean, I know that you're used to like seeing like five hundred something different mana color sources up there, but don't think you need that many. <laughs> Three six. Am I gonna? Nine. You have nine mana right now. Maybe I like. Oh, see that. If if there was a mill crab here, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to. I'm I would have won myself. <laughs> exactly, 
and you, you can mill yourself. I mean, if I had mill crab, you'd be done. But of course, I would have probably already been milled, like one hundred percent. Yeah, you might have. Yeah, maybe I I didn't bring it in, but maybe I should have. Like you swing with Earl, you put another land in the play. <laughs> well, there it is. Oh darn! I guess you're gonna minus. Right? Yeah, I think I think we'll pass on that for now. Okay, you know what, Seth? I just don't know how you're 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 able to resist my Jedi mind tricks. <laughs> oh. I felt like you were gonna walk right into it, but somehow you didn't. So, all right. I'm still like I only have ten cards in my deck. That's not yeah, and that many. You... Down to nine. I mean, this is kind of what I got. If you can, I don't know, like Agent Fretry Steel Lugan then uh, you probably just win. But you also have three mana. I'm not that Open, far from right? decking and myself, Chad. Don't even, don't even joke about that. And, like, let's just say you're just the unluckiest person in the world, and, and that's the only mystical dispute, and the rest are in your deck, right? I'm I'm sure I, I can win. I could have four triumphs in hand. <laughs> you, you, you could. Why do I feel like that's not what's happening here, though? <laughs> um... What are my outs? Actually, you know what's funny here? Uh, hold on. How many Omnats have we seen? One, um, two, and three on board, right? Yeah, I think there's one more somewhere. Wait. Uh, yeah, there should be one more in my deck by my count. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Let's make you draw a card. Okay, down to eight cards in my deck. That's way more relevant than my life total at this point. <laughs> I think that means I can't even ultimate Ugin. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> That's kind of a bummer. Ugh. Ugh. I'm just going to do this so you use the counter spell. I mean, there's no way you don't. We yeah. can't let you draw so many cards, so I think we have to. Yep. Seems about right. Wow. Watch this end with me getting milled out. That seems like a possibility. I mean, I, I actually think that Shadow to the Sky drawing you a card is actually pretty funny. Um, and then that draws you one more. Uh, you can't kill me this turn even, I mean, when you eventually put 500 lands into play. Unless you, because that's your last Omnath, right? Oh, I guess you could do that, ping me four, and then play another Ugin. Or if you have Terra the Peaks. Yeah, I don't think I can kill you this turn. I don't think. I am at least down to three. I know that. You're at 57. <laughs> cool. Um. Oh, well, hold on. Let me think here. If you cast Cultivate... How many lands do you have left? <laughs> not not that, that many. <laughs> yeah. So down. Yeah. I guess. Hmm. Jeez. All right. Uh. Your go, I guess. Wow, am I just gonna run out of cards? Is that how this is gonna end? Uh, I don't know actually. We are crabbing our gel ourselves, chat. It, I'm a it, little bit bummed right now because I think. Do you have another wrath? Uh, because you definitely have counter magic. I mean, it's possible. No, you do. <laughs> you definitely do. Yeah, I you mean... got it. GG's. Oh, yeah, I needed. I need, wow. did you did you have another another mystical dispute? Uh, no, I had two, and I used that one last turn. So this is my this is my last one. That was your last one. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping I'd get the I draw a land because I had two agents in hand. Yeah, if you. So I did not draw the land I needed. 
if you had had the land to pay for that, you probably would have won. Oh, geez. Yeah. Man. Wow, that yeah. was super close. Uh, did not play the Cobras. Yeah, that, was, that was super duper close. Did not play the Cobras because I wanted to have something to rebuild with if Krim had another Wrath. Uh, we were just so close to milling out. I See, felt like we needed threats. Once Teferi does matter. Yeah. Uh, Teferi's pretty good. Do we want to change? Huh. All right, hang on. I got to ask chat something. Are we are we crabbing? Are we crabbing, chat? Type crab in chat for for yes. <laughs> are we are we actually gonna do it? And what are we gonna take out if we do do it? Wow. Oh, most people. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of crabs. All right, all right, all right. Um. All right, had to get chat's advice for the sideboarding plan, but we're getting there. Is it to put the crab in? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> the crab's good. The crab is good. It could also mess with potential scries of mine for my lands and stuff like that, so who knows? All right, here we go. <laughs> I would like to play first, yes. Show us a show us a crab. No. Do not do not play crab. Unless you met me, because that's not printed in this set, so I don't have that. Keep. <laughs> oh no! Do you have it? <laughs> Is it here? <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right here we go the sideward plan has been activated <laughs> oh that's so bad for me <laughs> okay well here's the hoping just nothing useful boom mill em. <laughs> yeah you already got oh. three oh that's an agent that's an, an agent. agent agent down is good and then Krim, this is for that Abriel Grazer <laughs> attack last game, last match. <laughs> of course, but of course. Um, we do need to draw lands. If we don't draw lands, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, don't Teferi me, Krim. Don't do it. My crab does not no. have power to attack it. It's okay. What's the worst thing that could happen? I'm going to play hmm. another land. Or not. Oh, no way. Did you just keep it because of the crab? <laughs> crab was it. a big reason for it. <laughs> so so you went all in on the crab, huh? <laughs> oh, am I getting fired? Fired it. Um... Mm. Yeah, missing a slam drop might end up being a, a bit of an issue. Well, we'll see. Come on, you, Magic you Gods. Kept it. There's no way Crab was the only card in your hand that made you keep that. I'm willing to believe that you have multiple counter spells in hand, too. And there goes some lands. All right. I kind of wanted some of those, but it's cool. <sighs> cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's All cool. right. Here we go. I mean, we did, we did hit a land. <gasps> I'm a master. I think it was a good keep, honestly. Boom. Counter it. I will pay. Boom. Counter it again. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Well, that, oh, hmm. So that'll get back to Teferi, eventually? Yeah. Yeah, that's the game plan here. Milling you feels worse now. Lotus Cobra resolves as opposed to, you know, not resolving with my fires <laughs> out. Uh, no, you're milling all my agents, though. I like, know. You, with the... you milled two of them. Yeah, well, unfortunately, you got Elspeth Conqueror's death on the battlefield. I don't know if I want to be milling your agents. <laughs> But you are milling them. So. Oh boy! 
Not good. Anchovy pizza. Welcome right, to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big stupid for you. And uh, yes, this is going to be bad. This tax is actually really huge. Like we can't, even if we draw land, we can't escape. Yeah. And then they get to steal yeah, yeah, land. yeah, that seems good. We got to draw a fetch land I... this turn. We need a fetch land. Don't think I want you to have that. <sighs> Ouch. Yeah, this. Hmm. This might be game. Well. I mean, because we'll you, uh, you get to steal two lands. What? I want. Well, it, rean or not. it only reanimates one thing. Well, you got Yorian in hand, though. Yeah, I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Seth, come on. Do I look like somebody that would do that to you? And a shot. You, you definitely do, Grim. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You think the crabs will get there? Maybe you just have to steal the crabs so you don't get milled. <laughs> oh, Teferi. Interesting. I uh, was well, not expecting that. So I guess you must have Luca. That would make sense. If you got Luca, it makes a lot of sense. Oh, or also that. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> fair and balanced. I'll pick it up. Good old magic. Put it down. Yeah. Let me just get one of those again. Well, at least that was both of your <laughs> spells, so you can't also Yariana's. <laughs> 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 the silver linings, but you do get hit for one. We're, so. we're looking on the on the bright side, so I think it's uh up to the crabs. <laughs> Mister Krabs, <laughs> stop! Shark typhoon, okay. Concerning. Can you stop? <laughs> like, I notice you do this thing where you keep hitting my Teferi. Is, yeah, yeah, is yeah. that is that intentional or 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 no? It's possible that I should just kill the agent. <sighs> Yes, I would 100% kill the agent. I feel like I can't win from here. Unless somehow the crabs get there. I uh, think that's... Well, I, I know. That's it. Oh, my God. So killing well, I, the agent I, I wouldn't have what? actually done anything one, anyway. Two. Okay, so you only <laughs> milled two, so I have one left. So the te the Teferi plan was actually fine, I think. If you had if you ended up with Luca, Ugh. yeah, none of this yeah. is good though, because you would have gotten an agent for Yarian anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. You don't want to target. Oh, I don't have any more. Oh, <gasps> we build them all. 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 There's hope. There's hope. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, crab giveth and the the crab taketh away. It mills them so you can reanimate them, but also mills them so you can't look them. <laughs> Broken. You know what's sad? I think I might have to steal a crab. Like they, they are, they are becoming there. quickly very problematic. <laughs> they're, they're very quickly becoming problematic. Hey, wait! I have three of your permanents. Oh, wait! But hold on. You're probably oh, yeah. you're probably lucky. I, I'm I'm very crab. happy I stole <laughs> that crab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just gonna beat me down though. Wow, the yeah, crabs gonna... the crabs might have gotten there if you hadn't stolen it. Yeah, like the the, the crabs also <laughs> did prevent you from like me agenting you again. Yeah, they they actually did stuff. But how do I beat this board is the issue. You have you actually have a lot of power now. The crab also blocks agent uh, treachery. It's broken. <laughs> so good. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> needs to go. Awesome, dude. Welcome to the Bye. fishbowl. Perfectly thank you so much for your subscription. Big um, for you. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's neither a land nor something to do. Well, crab block. Would you like to sack something to your Luca, Grim? <laughs> Uh, no. And I'd also would not like to plus one. Because you please? can make cast... Yeah, okay, please? exiled creatures. That's that's like no, a, no, 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 that's no. like a crab, that's like a crab <laughs> activation. J Blue! Yeah, Welcome yeah, to yeah that's giving you Thank a crab you activation. Thank you for your for you. Oh, 
If we draw land... You know what? I'm going to chance it that you don't hit anything I want. <laughs> All right. This will allow me to save for a scry later. Get our last colors. Yeah. Well, didn't Dovin's Veto, good thing to get. get rid of. Oh. Oh. Land? Oh. Mm. Very nice. Uh, I felt like we had a shot if we drew a land there, but we didn't. The fact those two lands escape to the wilds. Yeah, the two lands that were down is definitely causing problems. Yeah, I, I have to imagine that that's got to be somewhat of an issue, right? Yeah, looking at our hand, having a couple more lands would be would be helpful. <laughs> and let's go ahead and do that. Chat saying you should uh, you should be plussing your Luca to try to ultimate it. Yeah, oh, yeah, so that we can have it so the creatures deal damage. My crabs, yeah, my crab would would get me for zero. How, how do I come back? Oh, no, and it's a fairy, too? Oh. Yeah, this one's uh, slipping away, slipping away. Uh, this is game three this. of this match, Play actually. This yeah, 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 yeah. So now the card draw is shut down. Planeswalker, Tron assembled. It's not bad. I'll admit that. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Well, I don't want any more Lucas. If we could just like keep every Luca like out of my, <laughs> out of my face. <laughs> ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. You know, if you weren't a Yarion deck, I would be kind of close to milling you out. <laughs> Eighty. The extra twenty cards <laughs> is actually making this a lot harder. Taste that mill. Oh, my Uro. Although I'm super far yeah. away from ever casting it. <laughs> I needed those those triumphs. The triumphs are pretty good. I like them. So we're dead next turn? I don't think there's a way I can win this turn, but I'm going to see what I draw. You oh, never... good. I drew a bunch of Lu Lucas to throw away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I draw my land, but it's my my old buddy Rugen Trium. <laughs> Good old Trium. Actually, I guess it's it's kind of well. You have the you picked up the fires, yeah. I mean, we got cast it, but I don't even think if it resolves, it matters. So you should probably let it resolve. Oh, is it escape to the wilds? Yeah. I mean, you did let. My, I did my let stuff your resolve. Banana resolve. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So let's see it. What do you got? Boom, mill you. Uh huh. And scoop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think it's just game. So I mean, I, I know that what I'm worried I'm about. I have an a, I have a counter spell too. Yeah, I'm just I'm dead on board. And I can't mill you all the way out. If I had uh -huh. my second crab, maybe. Maybe there might be a chance, or if you were not a Yari on deck, because you are down to twenty three. I don't think you can mill me from twenty three, but no I guess way. I've been wrong before. <laughs> I'm just like completely tapped out now, though, so I can't do anything. And you attack, you attack, you attack. Ether gust, <laughs> yeah, good game. Oh, the crab plan almost worked. It <laughs> almost did. It was close. Yeah, like I, I think you should have brought in the crab last game. Also, like might... I definitely would have boarded it in. Like, imagine those ultimatums going off or whatever, and then the lands that you hit. Oh, that have been so many cards gone because I I don't keep that much removal in, right? I keep a few sweepers, and that's about it. Yeah, chat says if I killed the agent that turn, I probably would have run. And I think you're probably right, chat. Although I also didn't realize that there are no agent treasuries left in Grim's deck. I thought he I thought he could just get another one with the Luca. If I had really thought through Krim not having any more agent treasuries, then killing the agent would have been a would have been a much better line and would have changed the outcome. But how many agents do you have? Three? Four. I, I well I had one in hand and oh. then you milled my three. Oh, right? oh, so, oh, yeah. So there was one more I, hanging out in hand. Yeah, I I, I thought you milled uh, um, like only two, but you ended up milling three. Yeah, that that makes sense. So, hmm, I think this is the hard matchup from my side. Still, we got to see. Yeah, it was another really close matchup, but I it was kind of what I feared going into it. The planeswalkers are just really tough. They're really tough for the deck. I can win if I get a really explosive draw, but Narset is just so good. To fairy, so good, and then 
my deck needs a lot of lands. And we saw in game two, I was able to just get so many lands on the battlefield that I wasn't really scared of Agent. But in this yeah. game, like, being down those two lands was really a huge, huge, huge difference. Like, I had two Genesis... Uh, I didn't reveal my hand. I had two Genesis Ultimatums and the Escape to the Wilds, which if I could just escape Oof. and land drop in Genesis Ultimatum, probably be able to win, but those two lands I was down really took it away, so... Yeah, I and like on top of that you missed the land that you your your natural third land too. So like that that was a bit rough. It did it did work out after one turn, but even missing one turn of land drops in a match like this uh, like this is really difficult because mana is just at such a premium, and it was a risky. Yeah, game. like I kept it because it had double mystical dispute and also a crab so that seemed decent but it was uh trusting in the lands coming off the top and they did but not quite as quickly as i would have liked hey what's up benny yeah, welcome the back double dispute was sweet right like i mean <laughs> imagine having those and then like a fairy on board that would have been awful uh, yeah it would have been sweet if i could have uh, kept the fires off the battlefield but it wasn't yeah. uh, it wasn't meant to be uh, all right, one question from chat, Grim, and then we're on to the next match. How do you feel about a Stone Rain reprint to punish decks like the one we were, uh, the ones we were both just playing, like these big mana decks, or me specifically, like the big mana strategies like that? The issue is that the Stone Rains would also be played in these decks. <laughs> that is... <laughs> like, like, it would just be this weird, like, like cannibalization of itself, where it's like, ah, I will stone rain you because I'm on the play and I have Cobra and, and all that stuff. I don't know. Or, like, some, some turn one play, like, imagine, like, a Boreal Grazer and then turn two, just stone rain, right? Like, that that's, un, like, ridiculous. Yeah, I think I wouldn't mind trying it, but I do think that people would very much not like it. I think I always go back to, like, arena and like what they want arena to be and <clears throat> i just can't imagine the people that are playing arena and maybe people that have like just started playing magic because of arena being okay with the kind of games cards like stone rain create so i can understand like i would be fine with it because i like that play style but i think it would turn a lot of people off to magic so i'm all for punishing ramp decks and i don't think confounding conundrum went far enough but I think there would be a lot of negative consequences from having it be something like Stone Rain in specific. Yeah, St Stone Rain is a uh, is definitely a uh, it's powerful, but it but like when you're, these decks are able to also use it, it has to be something else. It has to be like like a like a, a, a I don't know Burning Earth maybe maybe. But even then, like four four color Omnath is mostly basic. So uh. yeah, yeah, maybe maybe Mana Barbs. I think that's yeah, mana, mana barbs, barbs is like burn, burning earth, but for basics too, right? I think if I remember right. right. Yeah, just whenever you tap a land, and that that is great. But then you know, I don't know how people would feel about mana barbs. Yeah. Uh. All right. So we have our first top four match set. It's gonna be next week. We had our first upset too. Technically, Luca Fires was a five seed. So Simic Food Luca Fires will be our first match next week. Our next match tonight, we got two more to go tonight. Next up, I'm on Four Color Copycat. Krim, you are Teamer Reclamationing. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. So on one hand, I can combo off pretty quickly, more quickly than you. On the other hand, I feel like if I can't combo, my fair game plan gonna be pretty weak to your deck like uh, if i'm just i can't imagine rogue refiners and random mid-range stuff getting there those are the kind of decks that for the most part team reclamation was pretty easily able to handle in standard what uh, what do you think i i definitely think that um actually this game you're probably gonna be able to get there more so once again like you did in the esper matchup uh because i am the control deck here right you're gonna probably be able to just like play your mid-range game plan. Like maybe game one will go to me, but like if you can steal game one, that's perfect, right? Because then the next two games, your deck is just about going mid-range, while I have to respect the combo, and because you know you yourself also have to make sure I die before I myself can combo. <laughs> However, wilderness reclamation is a bit of a problem because I'm never tapped out. Yeah, and sadly, <laughs> sadly, I think my Kaladesh era sideboard might be really punishing. I have a. Re ridiculous number of cards to deal with artifacts but for some reason the Kaladesh era cards 
they do not say artifact or enchantment. So I have six artifact destruction spells, but not a single one of them can actually kill a wilderness reclamation. <laughs> you would show my two maze mind tomes what's up. Yeah, <laughs> look out, maze mind tome. We're coming for you. <laughs> With the first artifact removal spell on the stack, I cast a second one targeting maze mind tome. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, uh, all right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, natural state's not. It only hits three MCs, uh, three CMC or less though. Fruity Gummy, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big subscription you for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, I always try to trade him. Why do I always try to trade Grim? Challenge. Um. All right. Can Copycat make it to the finals? Also, a uh, a quick reminder that our awesome sponsor tonight is. Card Kingdom. And if you need some magic cards, you get them at cardkingdom.com. I don't think there's actually Maze My Tome in Crim's deck. <laughs> I don't think. I don't or else Crim is just uh just cheating his way through. I didn't know because I played I don't think he can because I played this All build right, last time, I will so take I know it's not play here. We'll uh, see how this goes. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I like this. I'm in a mulligan, I think. The thing the thing that's also nice about this is this era of the deck, Aethergust, was in the main deck. Yeah, that's it's kind of funny how many of our decks just randomly have main deck Aethergust. <laughs> There's yeah. been quite a few that are just like, yeah, four Aethergust, which is kind of a testament to how broken like the standard formats had been because traditionally those color hosers are not something you play in your main deck uh, but right. it was like a true staple of standard for quite a while yeah i mean like i don't i don't know how like that is probably one of the best things i have going for me right and then post board like cuz it hits all the key cards it hits your your bristling hydra or whatever it it, it does all the things i want it to yeah yeah i'm definitely i'm kind of nervous that you're just going to combo off Easily, more easily than me. Like, because Welder is wrecking the expansion explosion, still pretty combo y, and I'm just not sure how I stop that very easily. Yeah. But we'll see. So, a Valley Wilds, crack it. Uh, <laughs> Resolves. Mountain. No, no stifles. <laughs> Disallowed. No, or none. <laughs> as weird as it sounds, yeah, none. <laughs> uh, the second uh -huh. match. Three game match. Luca Fires took it down. The, the bracket has been updated. We have and like I think this is where like like example why I think this deck is so great is just because like yeah like I mean I I can also do the sit and wait you know what I mean just as good as like any control deck except I just have the explosiveness to randomly kill you. Boom. How do you feel about a rogue refiner? Yeah, I think that definitely adds a different element compared to our match last time where we had copycat versus Esper. Esper, the fair game plan actually worked pretty well against it. I'm actually a little worried it's not going to work as well this time just because if it goes on too long and it's too fair, eventually you are just going to cast a huge expansion explosion and kill me. Correct. When Esper didn't really have that option. Like you're trying to tuck to fairies or <laughs> so, yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Appetite for a Nadra would be sweet. Unfortunately, it's All not right, a, see what you got. actually in our deck. More fairness. <laughs> um. Oh, not gust. Mm. Um. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bottom that. I think. Yorgo. Yeah, this is a very teamer heavy bracket for sure. Uh -huh. It's not a bad draw. All right. I was hoping it would be a bad draw. <laughs> uh, you're you're still okay, right? I mean, you can just keep hitting me with this three drop. I'm gonna try. I mean, I've not got wilderness wrecked yet, so that's good. Yeah, like it, once I get wilderness reclamation, then you might be a little more worried. But for right now, I mean, we're just going toe for toe, right? Boom! Oh. How about Ooh. a bristling hydra? Ooh. Do we have that's, more ether yeah, gus? Ooh, that's hmm. pretty good. Hmm. What sweepers do you have main deck, I wonder? Sweepers? What are, are those? We, are we scrying for a wilderness reclamation? Currently. <laughs> so, no tracker to the top because oh. I think we want to try 
to find good. white mana and maybe set up the combo. I think that's kind of what we're playing towards. Because we have the combo in hand. If we draw a white source, we can double Sahili and just try to set up for the combo kill. All right. We'll go ahead. Hmm. Suspicious. Untapped. Huh. Well, we're going to keep attacking. Untapped. So small expansion explosion, maybe? Uh, wait. There weren't many black decks either. White or black are, I think, least represented. Okay. Well, you take a bit. Yeah, I still take a good amount of damage here, but one less than I would have if I just let you resolve your rogue refiner. So. And you get to draw some cards. Yeah. I don't hate it. <laughs> All right. Here it comes. There it is. Sahili. Uh, yeah. As I said, like, you know, like this, you very much so can still win just through this game plan here, just hitting me, right? I mean, unfortunately, I drew a uh, lot of lands after. <laughs> after yeah, that I mean, Bristling Hydra is kind of getting there. That's something you do have to be somewhat concerned about. Correct. It is a huge concern. Wow. Okay. So n still no Wilderness Wreck? No, not yet. Um, let me think here. Interesting. That's my line. Interesting. Couldn't you have won there? Hmm. I think we were, we were just short from winning last year. So you turn. do that, and then you get a lot. And I mean a lot. Uh, you know what? That's fine. Whatever. What do you have in your hand? Huh. All right. I think uh, I think we have a plan. Okay. Ping. <laughs> yup. Yup. I mean, th that could just get there, honestly. <laughs> This is this is interesting. I mean, this is why the the Sahili cat deck is so good. Ah, oh, there's so many things I have to be worried about. Oh, this man is so awkward. Oh, this is very awkward. What? Oh, just my mana. Hmm. Curious as to what you need, I guess. Like, oh, I guess you need a white source to play Felidar, but like Sure. Oh, we're gonna go to combat. Attack you. I I think Rim has to have two removal spells in hand. Or a shark. Or a night pack ambusher. Uh I'll try this. Okay, that's that's decent. Hmm, do we pump? Is it worth it? What do you need that energy for? I'm curious. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna trade. Trading? Okay. I'm on board with that. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. My mana was awkward because I needed the white mana. I needed the white mana from this ether hub, but that also keeps me from double pumping Bristling Hydra. So I could have, if I had one more energy, I could have Felidar Guardian first, forced you to do something, and then attack, but I was a single energy short from being able to do everything. Interesting. So... Can you kill four toughness? Okay. All right. Well, let's see what we can do this turn. You could have copied Hydra for lethal. 
Potentially, unless Krim had two removal spells, then we kind of lose everything. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. All right. Oh, tell me about it. Untapped. Well, all right, Graham, let's see what you got. Uh, let's see what you got. Yep. <laughs> uh, how about a Sahili? Uh huh. <laughs> Do you have an answer? Oh, that's so bad. Uh, we'll see. If we, I think you're misunderstanding the the energy situation though, because if we spend, what is this? What are you doing, Seth? What are you playing? No, nothing. <laughs> Nothing lethal. <laughs> that <Because> is lethal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not this turn though. Not this turn though. <laughs> I I actually think I have you dead, but Yeah, that sounds right. about right for a wilderness reclamation deck. One, two, three. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're gonna have a ridiculous amount of mana. Yeah. All right, so now I just got to make sure I don't punt this end step here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, do your worst. Oh, my gosh, I already lost a mana. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if that matters. I think, I think that, it will. I think what you're, everyone's overlooking is we had exactly six mana. So we had exactly red, or exactly red, six red, energy. Blue and It's blue. three to pump Bristling Hydra. Green, S blue. So what we would have liked to do that turn is cast Felidar Guardian, force Krim to deal right, with it. So if he deals four, with it, so double pump Bristling Hydra and win. But if we spend okay. an energy to cast Felidar Guardian, we can only pump Bristling Hydra Untapped. once. So we have that was that was where the pinch is for so that entire let, thing. Let me think here real quick. Huh? How do I get out of this? I'm not saying I. I'm not so saying I what, played five, it perfectly, five, but nine. that's the pinch, is uh, is we didn't have the ability oh, to boy. double pump and cast Felidar Guardian because of the energy How situation. How much energy do you have Because we don't have, have another one, two, three, source of white mana. You have like some ridiculous number of them. Okay. Oh, so... uh, potent. This feels kind of bad, but I think I have to do this. So that is... Oh boy. Yeah, blinking. Okay. Yeah, Sorry, blinking. I, I, I'm, I'm tanking real quick here because this is a little bit of a pickle. I need to kill this virtuoso, right? And if I let you keep Sahili and you go Felidar again, I'm in trouble. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting spot. And I can't win the, the game on the spot right now, so. I mean, you should win next turn for sure. Like, I was trying to play around removal, because Krim was leaving all of his removal up. I'm not, I, I very well could have done it improperly, undo, undo. but. But if we go to copy and we spend all of our energy and we lose that and we can't ever cast Felidar Guardian, like, then we just lose the wow. game. Huh. So that's kind of that's kind of the concern. I drew the rest of my lands. Uh. <laughs> All right. Sure. Yeah. Oh, Thopter. Yeah, seems good. Thopter. Seems good. I mean, I expect you still have a way out of this somehow. No, no, no. How do I unselect a uh, discard? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I think you just click the card again, but the. I, I tried and it didn't work. 
Yeah, it just threw my night pack ambusher out. Oh my god. I, I hate- Oh! Moto! Stop! Uh, uh, I clicked on it again to make it un unselected, but it still just went through. Oh, and I that's... don't understand. Oh, that's super uh, awkward. Well, uh, I guess we attack you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's reasonable. I mean, I have to do this, and this is much worse than the line I had I, I had before, but okay. But okay. What is, what was your, oh boy. Because I was going to be able to play uh, Ambusher, right? Oh, and, right. Uh, definitely there's something way better, uh, that's way better than just like a 3-3 shark. Man, ugh. I gotta shut that down before you try to ping me to death. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah. No! You have a negate yourself. No, no oh, wait, I what? don't. I think you got it. Oh. Uh... Well, I mean, we win if Krim has nothing, but he has things. Wait, hold on. In and step, enter the battle. Under your own. No, okay. no Planeswalker resolved, so you got it. I should be okay now, I guess, but like... Oath of Chandra only hits uh, creatures, unfortunately. Uro. Yeah, and now you get to gain up to eight. Ugh. Luxac, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup cheer for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you should have played Oath first, but Oath doesn't do anything until we. Good thing have a I totally walker. tactically threw away. Like All, some win conditions, <laughs> like All planned, of course. Oath is just like snap resolve. Like why? Why would Krim possibly even consider countering this? Because it does literally nothing unless a planeswalker right, comes into play. You. So, so I don't think right, that cards do I have that my deck? I have offers any cards. value. Yeah. So now you're back up to eight. And you untap all your land, so you still get a handful of counters. Oh boy. And expansion expl okay, grow spiral. Cat only wins pre combat. Um, There's a grow spiral. There you go. And so now we'll do this. This, this and green sure. Floaty McFloat float. Mm -hmm, um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a lot of clicking. <laughs> this deck is a lot of clicking. Yeah, lots of tapping and untapping. Luckily, hey, I what's mean, up, David? How are you? Good to so see you. I'm ya. just gonna do this for nine, and leave up a ton of mana. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's yeah. no way I can win. Uh, so now, well, the only thing left now is for me to find uh, my last expansion explosion. I've used three. <sighs> yeah, well. I mean, I'll cast stuff, I guess, but I think this is super over. Uh, yeah. You just have, you have so much interaction. You've drawn your, like, you've drawn 20 more, 19 more cards than me. Yeah, I've drawn a considerable amount more. So I assume that your hand is just overloaded with answers to anything I could possibly try to do. I do have interaction but, now. Uh, that, but we'll that much is so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, there's... All right. There's so many answers. So we, we take that one, despite me uh, clowning around over there and discarding some stuff. Uh, yeah, that's... I feel like this matchup is actually super horrible. I think there could have been something... I don't know. The Bristling Hydra turn, it's possible... I think you should have kept that. Oh, you should have kept I, it? Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think you should have let that go. Like, how does my deck beat that? Well, I feel... Like, so, I, the only... Oh, go ahead. Like, I can, I can chump it, maybe? But, like, I, I feel like that card is just, like, an all-star in this matchup. Yeah, so I think the thing is, to keep it, I would have had this double pump, and then I would have had no energy, so I could have never cast Validare Guardians, and then I wouldn't have any energy to protect it either. So I don't know. Like, maybe... Hmm. 
maybe it was right, but if I spent all my energy on that to keep it alive, and then you just untap an Ether Gust or kill it because I have no energy to give it hexproof, then I've kind of done anything. I think it's possible that what I could have done and maybe should have done is try to copy it with Sahili rather than uh, going the other direction. The copy play might have been the way to go. I was trying to play around. Uh, you having removal spells on it because I just your deck is so overflowing with removal that there's still yeah. risk doing it that way where I try to copy it and then you have like two removal spells and then I basically lose everything and lose so I don't know chat was chat was pretty uh pretty bad they didn't try to copy it they thought that was the correct line um, hmm. I wish I could kill a wilderness reclamation <laughs> That would make this. I mean, so yeah, the much card's easier. pretty good. Turns out when you double your mana times two, so I mean, I, I tripled my mana that game, uh, and like that that was more than enough, right? I mean, this game though gets a little bit different. You you have more interaction now, right? You you have some counter magic and all of that stuff. You really don't have any enchantment destruction though. Uh, the only thing that can maybe kill an enchantment is natural state, but that's only three seams here or less. So I don't have any cards that can actually kill. Well, I guess I have one Planeswalker that might be able to deal with it, but other than a Planeswalker, no, I just don't have any enchantment removal. Yeah, like Nahiri, right? I have one Nahiri, so Nahiri can potentially answer it, but that's about it, really. Uh. Natropo uh This says Artifact, though. It doesn't say Artifact or Enchantment. It just says Artifact. Oh, and that was another question. That was another thing I was playing around. Do you not have, uh, like, did you not have Harness Lightning that whole time? Uh, no, I did not have Harness Lightning that entire game. I, I, I think if you had a Harness Lightning, that'd have been a different game. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. Even if I could have just uh, tried to kill your Nightpack Ambusher, it would have been pretty helpful. Yeah, correct. I, I was playing around it as if you did because you hadn't played anything all game. So, like, that's why I kept up Negate and stuff. <laughs> well, this might be a quick one. Oh, oh no. Did that you kill me that fast? No, the in the other in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do, are, oh, no. Surely you, it's not like a one-lander thing, right? Well, we'll, we'll see. Oh, no! <laughs> Seth, did you keep a one-lander? What I is mean... this hand that would allow... I got the Oath of Nyssa to go three cards deep for a land, but uh, uh, it did not reveal a land in the top three. See you, buddy! Well, luckily for you, Welcome I'm not going to kill you Thank anytime you Thank you so much for your subscription. Yet. Big soup for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I mean, that is a land. How do you feel about this, Seth? Speaking of banned cards. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Are we just well, Uroing? Sure. Good old Uro, everybody's favorite. What are you getting? What are we getting punted for? Oh, the well, there's there's the quite a difference between our mana right now, so that is a little unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a uh, slightly unfortunate. I'm very curious as what your hand is then. So many grow spirals. Uh, we'll discard. Oh boy! Yeah, there's the rack. Ooh. Hmm. Well, we we uh, hit our lands, but probably too late to matter. Yeah, at this point now, I'm I'm at like what is pretty much like ten mana, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, your mana's doubled. Yeah, and. Oh boy, I'm pretty close just to conceding. Okay, so I think from here... Uh, I don't know. I mean, is the match closer than it played I out? I actually don't think um, so. Don't want that, so. Bottom. Hey, thanks, you buddy. Draw that. I don't know. We'll play... I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to play it again right now, but... I'd play it again sometime. I actually think this is probably a really... I mean, I don't want to say, like, 0% or something, but I would assume Wilderness Wreck is, like, very uh, heavily favored. 
in the matchup. And then we go for this again. That doesn't mean that, uh... That doesn't mean that... <laughs> well, I said I thought it was a bad matchup since, uh, before we even started playing. But, like, I could... I mean, I could be wrong, but... But... All right, and now I think from here, I'm going to be able to draw a silly amount of cards. As long as I didn't choose you draw the cards. All right, cool. Yeah, so you get a new hand, and I mean, this is what, turn five. So you're, you've are you drawn 22 cards, and you have, like, 14 mana a turn? <sighs> yeah. It's going to be rough, but, I mean, <laughs> the one thing here is you do have that, like, you know, combo out of nowhere. Yeah, but I guess I, I did but... draw a lot of cards, and I can tell you that I have an answer for Saheeli. Yeah, I mean, I assume you just have answers for everything. <laughs> ugh. Uh, 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 uh. Well, do you have an answer? How about a Rogue Refiner? Can you deal with a Rogue Refiner? Do you even care about a Rogue Refiner? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I do. Your go. I mean, not with a counter spell, at least. I mean, we can't just run Nahiri ah. out into uh, okay. into the draw nine. Like, there's zero percent chance that it would. Yeah, one would mana be sweet, open. But... Is dispel in this format? <laughs> I have. No, right? I do have one one mana available. So look out. Uh, dispel is not in this format though. So let me think. So three, four. Oh, uh, you have Exaxes? Okay. All right. So I'm dead. Yeah, I, I I just drew the expansion explosion, so I don't know if you have the, the counter spell or not. So. All right. Well. Ay 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 ay. Like I guess I could. Like, is this spell in this format? I just can't remember if it is or isn't. Like, <laughs> See, it's if, in some formats and not in some formats. It's hard to keep track of. It it comes and goes. So who knows? <laughs> okay, okay. I I'm just gonna. <laughs> You know what? We play are you gonna safe. go? Are you gonna go one short of lethal? Because you want. <laughs> I you want can't remember. Safe. Yeah, no. Battle for Zendikar was in this format. It was in this format. It was in this format because Oath of the Gate Watch. Uh, all right. Let's see it. <laughs> Battle for Zendikar was in this format. I know it. So here. I mean, you you were correct. But ah! <laughs> you gotta you gotta dispute anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Which dispute? This one. Uh, this one. All right. Hmm. Yeah, this, this is so over. All right. Uh, is there even any reason to not concede? I. D uh, so I mean. Ugh. Hmm. If this were, like, where you had seven mana, you know oh, what I mean? yeah. I'm tapped out. So, yeah, you could win from there. Yeah. But I know you are dead next turn if you cannot kill me this turn. Because I, I obviously, I, I did draw another one. Expansion yeah. So. I mean, I drew I drew Nahiri, so I can deal with the Ooh. Wilderness Wreck, but it just <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter yeah, yeah. at this point at one life. So, good yeah. game, good game. GG's. Yeah, Such, that was... Uh, it was really unfortunate that you got stuck on that one later. I, like, your was your hand, like, did it have Nahiri? Is that what it was? Uh, Yeah, it had Nahiri and also the combo and the Rogue Refiner. So I figured that Oath of Nyssa would, like, the odds of it hitting land are super high. And then getting to Rogue Refiners and having the combo was, I feel like, how I need to have a chance to, uh, to win the matchup. But definitely backfired with the Oath of Nyssa just stone whiffing. Like, have you ever seen a Legacy game? Have you ever seen a legacy game where someone, like, turn one brainstorms, and then they hit no lands, and they're just, like, locked for the next three turns? That's basically <laughs> what happened with that Oath of Nyssa. <laughs> basically what happened on that Oath of Nyssa. So that was my plan. My hand was my hand was the Oath of uh, the Oath of Nyssa. I had the full combo with two Felidar Guardians. I had Rogue Refinder, and I had the Dispel to protect the combo. So I basically had a hand that I felt like, considering just how little interaction I have, uh... 
I think it was like my best chance of comboing off as long as I hit lands, but that whiff and then I didn't hit lands. And I think the issue, I think the biggest issue with my deck in this matchup is just how warped the sideboard is for the Kaladash meta. Cause even after yeah. sideboarding, I have a single dispel in a single negate. And then just, uh, and I guess I brought in the Nahiri, which is okay, but... I mean, it's better than nothing, right? So. Yeah, which is better than, like, random Oath of Chandra's or something, which are pretty much just dead cards. So I feel like, uh, I feel like I just, if this could have a sideboard that was actually designed for uh, fighting against a deck like Team Iraq, I think it would uh, be a lot more effective, but... I just, you have all the interaction, and I just don't have many ways to protect it, so I think that is, that is a, a big part of this. Yeah, that's that's going to be the biggest issue there. Like, I mean, I had main deck cards that were good against you, right? So, yeah, like that, that, like I mean, having ether gusts and stuff like that was just absolutely disgusting. So, yeah, it definitely it definitely worked out. So, yeah, a little disappointing. I know chat's like, <laughs> chat's uh, chat's super salty about it. I guess people like uh, people like uh, Felder Guardian. Apparently, I didn't realize that Copycat was so popular, but. Anyway, it's that, pretty much Splinter Twin. I, I mean, it pretty much is Splinter Twin. So that puts oh, Team Arak through to the top four. It made it through taking down Copycat, which means we only have one more match for tonight. We have <laughs> another Teamer matchup. This time it's Teamer Marvel going up against Golos Field. Uh, so this is going to be really interesting. Uh, Krim, you're on the Teamer Marvel side of the matchup. What right. do you think about this one? This, I actually feel like this is the most even matchup. Um, we both do, a, like, obviously being able to go, like, Emrakul and take people's turns is pretty sweet, but what do I do on your turns? Right? I mean, all you do is play a bunch of lands. <laughs> yeah. And, and Ulamog picking off two lands, I guess I pick off Field of the Dead, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I guess like if we were to talk about this, I maybe where like my deck is, no, actually you could steal my Marvel though. That's the funny that you could steal my Marvel and then hit more Agent of Treacheries, right? <laughs> so like, I feel like this matchup is oddly kind of even. Yeah, I think it's actually going to be really interesting because as you said, like, my deck isn't really designed to stop you from doing your thing too much, but I actually think your thing is not as good against my deck as it would be against most decks, because all I have is these random zombies. So, like, you taking my turn with Emrakul doesn't feel that great. Ulamog doesn't even feel that insane. Like, Teferi can bounce it. Agent can potentially steal it. With enough ramp, you can kind of survive getting a couple lands exiled. So I think it'll actually be kind of interesting to see how this plays out. I do think it's probably a, uh, a pretty even matchup. You can obviously get a fast Ulamog and me just not have the right hand and win. Like, turn four if I don't have ramp spells or something. That could be really devastating. On the other hand, like enough zombies can take over the game. I will say the card that I am most interested in that's going to be interesting uh, and probably matchup deciding is Kozilek's Return. I feel yep. like having an instant speed way to clear the zombies, that's what we saw on Standard, was a huge deal against some of the Golo stacks in the Field of the Dead decks, instant speed way to wipe the zombies, and you can even get it back from the graveyard for free when you cast a big Eldrazi off of Marvel. So I think that's the card to look out for, is whether or not uh, Kozlak's return shows up because that's a huge swing in your favor. Right. And I mean, I got to make sure like Golos doesn't stay, but like I think like your deck has like a few giants, right? Like all the giants are like bigger than Kozlak's return though. So I, I think those giants could actually make some big moves in this matchup because it's not like I'm going to play a ton of stuff. I'll have a little, a few bodies here and there. I'm all about just trying to get online with, uh, with the, like the, the Marvel. But like if I recall, you're, like, you can still blow it up, right? Like, I mean, you have you could steal it, you can like just, like counter it, right? There, there's a lot. There's a decent amount there. Yeah, and you could so, also just beat me with zombies. So there, there is some interaction for it, especially after sideboarding. Uh, although the upside of Marvel is you usually get that one for the most part, especially main deck. You're going to get that one spin against me because I don't have main deck counter spells. So a lot of it's going to come down to how good is that one spin? Like, yeah, I can deal with it potentially after the spin, but you're probably going to get one spin off of it. Although Teferi does shut it down, right? 
or does does it I, not? Yeah, yeah. The, the way it's worded, it down, there's so. like the trigger on the stack, so it's not sorcery speed. Yep. So I guess maybe it's my turn to uh to try to stick the Deferi and use that to my advantage because that would be very good against your deck, and it not just Kozlek's return. Yep. And, like, I, I legitimately think that card will win you the game. I Actually, now that I remember that Teferi kind of blanks the uh, the Marvel, I actually think the matchup's in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think that definitely is a big thing. I do only have three Teferis, though, so, yeah, who knows? Maybe I don't even draw it. But are you ready, Crib, for our last round of the top eight to see who makes it to the top four? Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's do it. Oh, now I feel bad, chat. Are you all mad at me? Are you all mad because uh because you didn't like how I played Team Energy? <laughs> no, chat. All right, I will I will play extra hard this match just for you, chat. <laughs> I'll play I'll play extra hard. I promise. <laughs> oh. Um. All right. So, Bangolo's field. <laughs> You want Marvel to win? No. Shame. Shame. <laughs> I mean, it would be cool, but Teferi would shut it down. And also, if if you if your deck wins, it follows the trend, right? Everything from like 2019 forward. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we get to play. We do get to play first. Yeah, being the 2019 deck is a good uh, a good side. Uh, yes, yeah, it's fine. My my mulligan decision is is chat gonna yell if I keep this and I don't think they are gonna yell about this so keep. <laughs> that, that that's that's concerning. <laughs> Aha! They, they don't I don't like... have to worry about tap lands. Yeah, I I do. I have many tap lands. Look at that! Boom! Fast land. Yeah, your mana is more untapped than mine for sure. Hmm. Do you have counters in your main deck? I don't think you do, do you? Do I? Uh... I'm genuinely asking you because I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going to do this now in case. I, I'm uh, guessing well, you probably don't, but... If I did, I don't know if I'd counter that. I mean... You never know. You don't, right? you don't want me to ramp into my Field of the Dead. Ooh, Glint has green. Are we Feel going like... digging? I mean, we this is a game. this is a decent hand, I think. Huh. This is how we beat Teferi, by the way, Glinton S. Crane. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It, sh it showed up, Grammy. You're gonna love this. Boom! I'm, Twenty-one. Oh! Cheaty. The cheaty lands are back. <laughs> that that card was a cheaty land though. Like health gain was cheating like heck against against the aggro matchup. It I'll was, let you know that right now. Yeah, it was a lot better against aggro. <laughs> uh, I actually would like to say that that's absolutely disgusting. That's a that's a lot of cranes. Uh, let me see. So we know there's a marvel, but right now you're not at enough energy. No, but I am at aggression. Uh, look at this. Look at this aggression. <laughs> no. Look at that. Boom. All the way, back to 20. All the way back down to Once 20. Once again, if you win at one life, I'm going to consider that just Tranquil Cove hard carried you. Oh, I thought you were going to board wipe, and I'm like, disrespectful. <laughs> See, I'm very afraid because right now. Zombies. Oh, boy. <laughs> the zombies have yep. arrived. Yep. Woo! All right. I think we're, I think we're pretty good, uh, in pretty good shape now. Unfortunately, that's. I mean, really you can't good. even spin the Marvel, so you're you're getting closer-ish. But at this point, like, this is what we were kind of talking about pre-game. Like, do you even do you even win if you hit something good off a of Marvel at this point? And I'm not sure the answer is yes. I don't like, think. Is I there do. a point where you're just too far behind, where even an Eldrazi isn't going to save you? Yes, and I think I'm already starting to get to that point. Cause like, you know, like I can't. I'm not gonna. I'm being realistic. There's no way I win by attacking. I'm better off just trying to double block the zombie, right? Hmm. Now, if you have hmm. a fairy, the cranes are going online. <laughs> so you're gonna have the energy next turn. Ugh. All right. I think we just. Am I? I think oh. so. Uh, make some zombies. Cause I have to still play 
the, the Marvel, right? Oh, yeah, I guess... Oh, that puzzle knot's actually... Oh, I was thinking that one was two to crack, but this one's uh, three to crack. Okay. So, yeah, you might not right. actually have Much worse energy. than the green one. If you have a tune, I guess you'd have the energy. I don't know if that changes anything. I think we're going to stay, stay course. Um, go lows? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Seems uh, good. Yeah, not not bad. And then, hmm. Um, white, blue. So we don't have black. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I guess we're just gonna make zombies. I think there's a little bit of a question as to whether we should, whether I should try to like focus on spinning golos, but. I think just making as many zombies as possible sounds decent. I and I think I now I can't I'm pretty much dead anyways, right? So like I think this is the way I got to do this. I mean, Kozlek's return is uh is still pretty good if you find it. Like if you can Kozlek's return and get up Oh. Okay, so you're just going to ritual with harness lightning. So now you That's have the game plan. Now you have enough mana to spin it. Well, we'll see. Kozlek's return is good. Eldrazi's are decent. The worst part is I have to spin it now because I can't let you untap. Which means that you could play Agent of Treachery, but if I get Emrakul, then I guess I get to... Uh, well, hopefully I hit something. I hit! What do we hit? Oh, it took me like five spins last round. Spin it to win it, spin it to win it. Hey, what's up, Dottos? How are you? Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, no, that's it? Oh, boy. Yep. Well, that, uh, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that steals this game up? All right, good game. <laughs> yeah, that's that's going to be hard to come to come back from that. <laughs> Pick him up. All right. Pick him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I think things get slightly worse for you. You stealing it? Yeah, they're gonna make a make a few zombies. Yeah, in honor of Halloween, your favorite holiday. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> along with my favorite card, Fuel of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, tell me, tell me, you got to fairy? Are you gonna Are you gonna dress up for Halloween this year? Do you have a costume, Krim? Oh yes, I I do not mind dressing up is as an a... almost almost thirty year old in, and sit in my room. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are What are we going as? Uh, well, I'm going as Mermaid Man from Spongebob, one of my favorite oh. animes. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, I didn't, so, <laughs> so Spongebob counts as an anime? I will never understand this anime culture and what counts and doesn't count. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not, I mean, well, I guess, like, it's not your typical anime. <laughs> it's animated, right, Seth? <laughs> oh, good. This is great. I mean, I feel um, like just stealing the Marvel huh. is better than... Than well, stealing things that could turn on Marvel, like because we don't know that Krim has another Marvel. Uh, that seems like that makes a lot. That seems like it makes a lot more sense. Is there a way I could convince you not to attack me? Uh, I, pro <laughs> I probably got to attack Krim. <laughs> uh, I mean, right. you, you like zombies, so I do. I'm doing. I'm doing this you a favor. All right. I wish I could spin Golos. That would be sweet. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the right colors at the moment. I'm a little off, but I do have many zombies. That I, you do. I mean, if you have Kozlik's return, you're not in the worst worst shape. I do. Actually, no. This might actually be hilarious because I get a. <laughs> oh no, you're right. <laughs> now I get a bunch of Marvel triggers, and I get to spin it to win it. <laughs> I mean, it's still what you had so to do, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> You're going to be able to get, like, a Teferi. I know it. You're going to hit a Teferi, and it's going to be bad. Who's who's Marvel deck now? <laughs> yeah, 100% yeah, you, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's spin it to win it. I can't even block yet. Let me block first. I'm oh, too excited. Miss? Oh, I have an Abriel Grazer. 
<laughs> I think you have to grab that. I right? kind of like, want to take respect. it for the memes, but I I gotta win. I oh. gotta win. After after losing last round, I gotta win. I gotta try to win this one. <laughs> Chat will never this let me over. hear the end of, end of it. This this <laughs> one's over. I have a marvel in hand. Oh, you did have a marvel in hand too. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That uh, was my hand. Marvel Marvel has an extra ability an where whenever <laughs> one of your permanents dies, Always goes to the graveyard, you get an energy. Emerical, you know. Ooh, yeah, I did that one last uh, last round. One of the games I drew two two Ulamogs, and it's always brutal because you really want them in your deck. So it's always a little sad. Yeah, well, hopefully this game goes somewhat better. But like, oh, Teferi just like straight up dunks this deck. Yeah, do you even have answers for it? Can you like kill no. it? Ooh, I have yeah, to that's... counter it or or exile it by hard casting an Ulamog. That's tough. And we're killing it. Looks like cranes are staying in. Time to be aggro. <laughs> we have a new donation for Rum. Day in Wildfire. Uh, all right, this is this is for you, uh, Krim. This is a question from a, a donation from Doug. Please ask Krim if he thinks you'd honestly enjoy Carol in Tuesday, uh, which is on Netflix. Do you know what Carol I... in Tuesday is? I love Carol and Tuesday. Are they asking if I would enjoy if, it or if, if you would I would? Do, do you think I would enjoy? Is that a is that an anime no. like SpongeBob? Yeah, it, it, it is a lot like an anime <laughs> like SpongeBob. Yes, but I do oh. not think you would enjoy it. Hmm. Not to the le like. I would recommend. I still recommend you watch Cowboy Bebop because that's something I think you could enjoy. Uh, but I, I I I love Carol and Tuesday. I think that's an amazing anime. Okay, so so start with Cowboy Bebop and work up to it. What was? Do you remember? Yeah, we'll work your way around. Do you remember what uh, what the anime you put on when we were in Vegas last year was? It was like ah, oh, uh, something to do with like the mafia. I, oh, oh it, it was it was back Backstreet Girls. Backstreet Girls. Okay, so where where does that fall yeah. in the like Cowboy Bebop scale of like? You are on the Richard and I were comfortably watching that, and let's just say that that is on the polar opposite side of quality. I, uh, <laughs> like I I do not think you would like what we were watching. So, <laughs> all right, a little a little too uh, a little too advanced compared to so is Cowboy Bebop the starting point? Like, is that what you would start? I, with? I would say so. It's the easiest to get into, right? Just because like it it takes Western like uh, like you know movies and like you know themes and ideas, and then kind of puts it into anime form, right? So that kind of makes it easily like kind of something you can kind of already enjoy, along with like something like Trigun. Hmm. Time Light Bubble uh, deals with Emrakul too. Um, huh. Huh. Hmm. This sounds interesting. Am I, am I dead? <laughs> no, you're very not dead. Ooh, thank you for the donation, by the way, Doug. I think we mull again. Okay, well, this will keep. And. Yeah. You know, all right. Well, your go, Crib. Doesn't sound good. I have never watched Firefly. Oh, it's uh, that's like the energy Abriel Grazer almost. Yeah. <laughs> if only you put the money to play. I oh, in, if it were in 2020, it would have. Yeah, <laughs> it would have. And it would have searched for like two lands. <laughs> correct. Five hundred percent correct. I got. I mean, I can't keep the grazer chat. You know, you know, grazer and me. <laughs> we don't get along. Wait, okay, crane, let's go. Get in there, uh, crane. I swear you're like crane tribal crim. That's that's the most threatening Honestly, thing your deck has done so far is just play one three flyers. <laughs> yeah. You've seen glint nest crane, and that's it. <laughs> as sad as it sounds, I do love. It's glint what nest. we got. Glint nest is also a good way to dig for uh, panharmonicons. If you're ever wondering. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh oh. Wait. Two again? Oh. <laughs> the Air Force has arrived. Yep. We're online. We've got the cranes. Well, interesting. Huh. I don't know if it's good or bad. So. Now I can attack your Teferi. <laughs> oh, wait. Haha. -ha. I guess we haven't I, cast we haven't cast a spell and it's turn three so <laughs> once upon I, a time. Uh, 
I have to, like, I, I want to see my cranes, because I just feel like if you have a Teferi, I gotta kill it, right? So... Yeah, I mean, and it's a good thing you have oh. cranes, because I do have it. But even then, it's like, you just plus. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take you're, a, you're not a even... few turn of craning to get a job, the, the job done. <laughs> oh, we have another new donation for Rum! Oh, uh, Day in Wildfire again! Wait, this doesn't stop. Okay, I was like, hold on. Does Two dollar donation. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop okay. is my go-to star um, for most people, be, uh, but because you're into music, I, I kind of just want to take the third crane. Indie, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I think you prefer killing two need, slime, but two girls writing music things, so. together and trying to make it big. Oh, uh, we'll have to check it out, Doug. I do like the music idea, so maybe maybe that would be a good starter for me. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, energy increasing. You're getting there. I mean, I so I guess you got to kill the Teferi to spin first. But how do I stop right. it? How do I stop a crane? How do I stop these cranes? The well, the sad part though is, like I already, I already can tell you that with the scrying, I've had to put the big win conditions at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, so it might take you a lot of spins. Yeah, like I've already put an Ulamog that you saw, and I've already, I just put an Emrakul. Oh, well, so. a, a two two. A 2-2 cross this is sad, but it does block a glint nest crane, which is surprisingly relevant. Thank you for the cheer! I uh, definitely it appreciate does. it, Ashuga. That it does. Alright. Yeah, this Teferi seems like a big issue for you. That was a card that didn't exist. Ooh. Oh boy, and the cranes live? The synergies! The synergies! Yeah, look at that, look at that out power! Of the, out of the Aether uh, Works Marvel deck. And because, yeah. like, the worst part is, like, look at this. I have to go through so much just to kill this Teferi. <laughs> like, you have another two turns, essentially, to do something. And I know you got Golos, so by the time Teferi's gone, you'll have had everything on board. So just enough time to set up. Yeah, I mean, we're going to Golos. I guess we're almost already to zombies, too. Oh, yeah. Um, so green, white, blue. And you can add, no, you can't, black. can you add, do you actually have black mana in this deck? There is, like, one black source, I think. So, technically, it's possible. Um, all right, get a guild gate, and we ticked up Teferi, right? Okay, Teferi's ticked up. You can go. Okay. Uh, two questions. Oh. Do you take historic decks for brew um, challenges? And if so, how do I submit one? Hey, what's up, oh Average boy. Fox? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, email it to me, Norpal. Saffronolive at mtdgoldfish.com uh, is the best way. I can't promise that we'll do we anything with it, but down train. I will definitely uh, look it over and, uh, and send you a response. So that would be that would be great. Carolus Gway, uh, welcome All to the right. fishbowl. And the Thank worst you part, so much we have to actually kill Big your... Your your Golos on our turn. Oh uh, yeah, because the uh, the Teferi still are. I mean, you've almost gone through this Teferi. You're very close, and you got infinite energy. I didn't say infinite, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have stuff. That's, that's we have a, a non-zero amount, enough, enough to spin, and a couple puzzle knots. Well, we'll we'll see, right? Because like, what happens next turn? Um. Golos again. Go, Golos number two? <laughs> yes. But of course, there's your uh, there's your mana. So we have achieved the mana. It doesn't help us till next turn. And you actually get to kill the Teferi by the looks. After 5,000 years, I can finally kill the Teferi. I mean, but that opens up a Marvel spin. And who knows, like, if you Marvel spin into something great, you also have the Kozilek's return. So if you Marvel spin into an Eldrazi, I think you're actually, like, in decent shape, at least. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Wait, wait. Let's go to combat first. Let's go to combat first. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Kill the Teferi. Uh, 
Uh, so building a bunch of zombies, I don't think is super. So I know what I is on top of my deck. The question is, does this resolve? Nice. Okay. Yeah, it does. Ooh, I also could have gotten a crane. <laughs> Ulamog. Oh, that's actually super unfortunate that that's how this worked out. Huh. Target you? Yeah, I, uh... Ooh, I had a plan for this, too, but... The Emrakul is gonna be good news for you. Interesting. All right, well, we'll see. You'll like my draw for the turn. Ugh, so close. Oh, will I? So close. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I had a I had a plan to beat it, but I don't know if how it works I, now. How do I beat that though? That's that's the thing. Like I actually do not know. How, like, <laughs> I mean, you got a Emergle, so that's only two attacks. Right, but Teferi can bounce that. I would like to bounce it if I had the opportunity. <laughs> could you but just I replay it though? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You're pretty close. Yeah, okay. Grim's so, actually very right, close so to hard casting it. Step. Um, we're not going to play a land. Aw, give me a zombie, Grim. Okay, there's the fairy. Yeah. Sure. And I'm going to return... That makes sense. Get some more energy going. Oh, God. I actually want to... Let me think here. It's kind of weird, because, like, okay. I definitely hate that I you get to block with that stupid Emporial Grazer, but I guess... No, wait. This tramples. All right. Um, how much mana do you have? I actually need to count one real quick. Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, not, not enough. Not enough. Um, I kind of want to know what your next draw step is, so I will give you the zombie. That makes sense. Hmm. Okay. I really could use an agent of treachery. If you see that, scry it to the top for me, Grim. Aw. Random <laughs> land. Sure. Um, and let's go ahead and do... Wait, what? Whose turn is it? Is it not my turn? Uh, I think it's still your turn of my turn. Oh, with Amrakul. Okay. And then it goes to my turn. After <laughs> your turn of my turn. <laughs> I'm just going to do this so you don't get an additional land drop. Yeah, I mean, I would have played it anyway, so. Yeah, hmm. but this time you don't get an additional land. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> So then the Emrakul can kill the Teferi, and then you get to spin again. Well, Yolos, number three. I know you drew Tranquil Cove, the good old cheaty land, so. And, yeah, we'll grab more zombies. Yeah. Ugh, so we're going to need you to whiff. Maybe there's hope since you said a couple of finishers were at the bottom, but I mean, take up to fairy and yeah, no attacks. Your go, Krim. Please, okay. We need um, we need a whiff. We need a whiff. Let's do this first. Sure. Oh, oh, that's good. Okay, so even if we sort of whiff, uh, Emrakul is flying and trample. Actually, no, I need, I need. If it was on the ground, thing. we could, we could try to zombie it. That'd that be sweet. could be pretty bad. But, yeah, Ooh, one all on right. top. Ooh, all right. Uh huh. Ooh. Well, apparently you can beat a fairy. You just need, you need all the grit I, planes in the world. 
That's the issue. <laughs> it actually worked. It actually worked. All right, here's the spin. What do we find? Um, kind of unfortunate. Let me think. Oh, okay. Do I? Do I have enough? Um, all of that? No. Golos is up. Right. Is up a game right now. One zero right now. Interesting. Uh, so that's another wrath. Six. Hmm. So, like, I can kill your zombies. Yep. Which would then keep me alive for a little bit longer. That does maybe. buy time, for sure. I mean, but the getting... issue here is I don't know. How do I beat your Golos at this point? I think we're kind of in the same boat where you're hoping I whiff and I'm hoping you whiff off of our spins, so. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. If you draw an Agent of Treachery, this is not good for me, right? Like, if you draw an Agent of Treachery. Yeah, Agent would definitely be awkward for you. Hmm, how much mana do... How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, well... All right, let's... I think we're doing See? this... First. You can't double activate yet, so that's no, good. not quite there yet. I assume you're just activating Golos first. I, th I think actually, I think we do this first and th do a little a little deck thinning. Yeah, that's pretty good. But then you shuffle all the the bad cards back to the top. <laughs> Wait, were there? What were the bad cards? Did I have bad well, cards on the bottom? None. All right, spin it. Here we go. Uh, none. One. Yeah, your 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 Etherworks Marvel gets around to fairy and attacks. That's good. And it, <laughs> hey, hold on. Yeah, my my Marvel might just. Oh my oh, god. Yes. Oh, that's, that's a lot of zombies. That's the worst. That's Oh no. I mean I got a lot of zombies, but you I don't know if that matters. Wow, that I was mean, that was a that was a whiff. That was a big whiff. Oh, we gotta kill Chandra. So I have a ton of zombies. My concern is you get a Marvel spin, and not only do you have Eldrazi you can hit, you can also hit just a sweeper, and that buys you a ton of time again, especially if you then hit an Eldrazi the next turn to flash it back. These grazers! The grazers! Hmm. Every time. Which one do I do first here? I think I like the scry. Oh, whiff, whiff, whiff. We need a whiff. We need a whiff. Yeah. Scry away. So what's your best hit? Oh. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> what a weird matchup. This is interesting. Uh, do you do Dono deck? So haven't okay. really haven't really done full on Yeah, I, I guess so. Haven't really done full on donation decks. But we do play viewer submitted decks. So if you have a deck you want to play, All right. you should uh, so email it to me. So with that being said, let's go to combat. Sure. Saffron Olive MTG Goldfish dot com. So I can take a look at it. Would you like to take three off? <laughs> Might as well. I think. I don't think it really matters in the grand scheme of things, but eh. Okay. Grazer's not doing anything else. Here it is. Spin it to win it. Huh. <laughs> this is a this big, is interesting. flashy matchup. I think, yeah, actually, I think I'm going with this one. It is. Ooh, okay, yeah. Where's your mana at? Where's your Where's your feel of the dead? How do they disappear off the map? Oh, okay, there you go. Uh. Hmm. So we're gonna need quite the quite the top deck. 
so we lose losing the Golos is the biggest issue. Right, and that's that was the our... one thing I wanted to get rid of. Yeah. Well, so what I had topped before was another Emrakul. This way I just run your Golos into it, but I actually hit something pretty good. Hey, thank you, Ashuga. I appreciate and the, so now... the bits. Uh, not being able to keep the fairy around was was a huge uh, a huge deal in this game. More energy, discards an Ulamog. Well, let's see when we draw. This is a game. It's a Did land. you draw an agent? <laughs> it's, yes! a, it's a solid Okay, valid. cool. All right, on to, on to game three. Well, we got to see how Marvel can uh, can win in this matchup. Those Glen S cranes were pretty clutch. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even kidding. Like, I actually, I I wish more things had attack power in this deck. I'd bring it all in. <laughs> yeah, that actually does seem <laughs> does seem like it'd be helpful just to get through the fairies. Ugh, is there anything else we can do? Hmm. Hmm. How do we deal with the Eldrot? Like, I guess it's just agents? No, no, no. All right. And yeah, like, as you saw, that's why I brought the Chandra's in. I'm just like, oh, it's something that I could just attack with. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and Chandra is also kind of like another sweeper for the zombies, so. Right. It doesn't, it doesn't feel that bad. Five, six. Uh, all right, but it game... just did not have enough to kill Golos. Oh, the game would have been so much closer if you just didn't have that Golos for one turn. Oh, my moto uh, just crashed. I'm relogging. Oh, well, if you aren't in in time, I win. <laughs> Krim wins. Krim gets the, the default win. I don't make the rules. <laughs> Here we go. Hit last round of the top eight. Once Moto reloads. Can we... I need I need chat to channel all your energy. You see what I did there? Into the deck. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I I need we need to keep Golos and, and feel the dead out of the top eight. That will play Please. first. Chat, do not give Krim your energy. Like, I, I hope you know I'm not kidding about this, by the way, Seth. I am mulliganing to find cranes. Because <laughs> we have zero ways to kill a Teferi outside of hitting it. Moto does not like push to talk, I think, is the issue. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. Okay. All right. We should come back once Moto starts working. All right, we will play first. We will keep. You're actually, you're actually mulliganing to find, to find cranes. That's crazy. That's crazy, Grim. Does it have attack power? <laughs> All right, I want it. Cheaty land, go. Hyperlake, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Uh, game trail pass. It's pretty good. Eh. Just don't have white mana. Just don't have white mana. You don't have white mana, right, Seth? Uh, no. Maybe no. cheaty white mana. <laughs> Two cheaty lands in your, a row. Your deck, oh. your deck doesn't care about the the life gain, though. Really, honestly. No, it does not. But it cares all about that uh, that blue and white mana. Oh, there's the crane again. Uh, I mean, we'll see how much that matters. We're on a we're on a Discord uh, Discord call. Uh, you because you have the growth spiral this game, right? So yeah, getting out on mana helps for sure. Oh my and, gosh, this is hilarious! <laughs> no <you're> way. <laughs> is this more cranes? <laughs> I drew I drew another crane. <laughs> oh, crane tribal kinda kinda working. <laughs> it's uh it's twenty twenty cranial plating. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Watch is, watch me just die to the cranes. That would be the most hilarious thing. This is the crane game now. <laughs> like cranes actually hard carried me last game. Like I wouldn't have done anything. Please don't board wipe, Seth. <laughs> yeah, no, no board wipe, no board wipe. 
<laughs> if you board wipe, is that sad? Like, I think I lose. <laughs> <laughs> you need the you need the cranes. <laughs> that is really <laughs> really hilarious how important I... they are. <laughs> actually, I took out most of my yeah, board like, wipes. <laughs> Exactly. I think that's actually an issue. <laughs> like, I think if you take out my cranes, I lose. Well, well, there's the beatdowns. I mean, we're back under 20. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Come on. One more crane. Um, The home team needs a crane. Crane Tron assembled. Yeah, Crane Tron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna keep passing, doing nothing. Kind of a weird start. I don't believe you don't have anything though. See, that's the thing. Like you, you've passed, and you're telling me you've got nothing. Uh, we can't we can't go lows until we. All right, Seth. If we go lows and then Crim Marvels, that's we'll force your hand. Not you know what we have in hand. Like, you 100% know what we've got in hand. There's no surprising you about it. Uh, However... Cranes, right? <laughs> wow, you really do have all of them. Because we know there's a Marvel, so we can't just tap out... Uh, at this point, they're my best friends. They're all I've got! They're actually working, and we don't have sweepers at the moment, so... <laughs> it's all I've got, chat. <laughs> Seth, if you board wipe... I, I'm going to be very upset with you. <laughs> oh, not a land? That's not good for me. I don't know what's worse, if you growth spiral and play a land, or if you growth spiral and don't play a land. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. If you right. leave up two mana, that's Mystical Dispute if I've ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I or mean... not Mystical Dispute, just like, like what, Negate? Disdainful stroke, something along those lines. I gotta at least try to keep you from resolving it. Well, I guess we make some zombies to try to race these, <laughs> race the cranes of all things. This is, this is not what I was expecting to be worried about in this matchup. Can I actually like beat three glint nest cranes? Was not on my radar. <laughs> didn't play around them, Seth. That's what I'm getting from this. You didn't play around them. <laughs> Oh, there's the energy. Yup. And the crane beat down. I just sure. want you to know you'd be at 13 right now. I know the GD lands. <laughs> if you didn't have Thornwood boss. <laughs> huh. Well, isn't this just fun? What do you have, Seth? Who knows, Cram? Who knows? <laughs> I know you You don't just have four cards and do nothing, so. <laughs> I know you have cards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got to do it at some point. So, yeah, I got to fight out. I got to force out your disdainful strokes and, like, negates and, I don't know, whatever else yeah. you have. Mystical defeats. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a... Thankfully, your deck was before Veil of Summer. This deck would have been busted in the Veil of Summer era. I definitely wouldn't be having a good time, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I actually was pretty sad about the Marvel ban because I had played, I built Jeskai Control, and I'd realized how bad Teamer Marvel was at dealing with Spell Queller. Oh, like because yeah. I played Jeskai Control, and anytime they would just play, I, I would just make sure that because they would try to use negates and stuff like that, and it just didn't matter. Well, I guess we hit you a little bit, but you're still winning this race. I wouldn't say that. I think we need if to you pick can... up our clock. Uh-oh. Do, do you? Oh, no. I mean, you didn't have to pick up your clock, but okay. <laughs> you, ch you chose to. Well, I, All gotta, right. I gotta race the crane somehow. Um, I can't believe that's a sentence we're actually saying right now. I, I gotta I race these cranes. <laughs> I really wish this deck had a Rakdos Guild Gate. That would solve so many of my issues with the spinning Golos. Um, since we do not, I guess it's just <laughs> trying to make more zombies. I mean, that's pretty good. Do you actually have another Marvel? Do you have two Marvels in hand? I mean, you know I do. 
Oh, you actually... Yeah, that's right. You reveal another one. I don't... Do you play yeah. gates? I do. Do you do have, I have the them? gates? No, I do not. <laughs> Who? Staying alive. Staying alive. Maybe. Oh, all right. There goes Golos. Yeah. I can't let you keep that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I actually think it's better now that because like there's no way I win this race right because you would kill me way faster so I'm gonna just have to sit back and block now. <laughs> These are defense. just Air Air Force is just here to keep me alive long enough to kill a Teferi. Oh no, you didn't even hit lands. That means you hit action. <laughs> or maybe you already had it. Yeah, that's good. Oh this man. Is... My cranes! This is not, not what I imagined this matchup being about, even a little. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little hurt. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was not expecting to be stealing cranes with Age of Treachery and actually being happy about it. <laughs> oh. I'm very sad right now. I want those cranes. All right, I'm tapped out, Krim. This is, uh, this is your time for Marvel number three. Yeah, <laughs> get on it. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Like, what are your two cards? Like, the, the two disdainful strokes are brutal. But, I mean, I, I can't just wait, right? I mean, you're going to eventually counter my stuff, so. Yeah, I think I think you probably had to go for it. Like... You were gonna have to get through them eventually, so. And you, what other targets do you have? Like, there's nothing else I'm gonna target except for either works Marvel. I guess unless you it, get up enough mana hard cast Eldrazi, but. It's kind of awkward that you actually were able to like steal my crane because that set the combat math off, right? Yeah, that actually really made a big difference. Uh... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, all right, we'll just pass. All right, the zombies might be getting there. Perhaps in no, the end. No, you got end. it. No, you got it. No sweeper. No, I have I, I have Ulamog, Emrakul, and a forest. Oh, so GGS. Good game. Wow. Like I guess. Hold on, wait. I'm at one. I guess I, I'm at one. Oh yeah, you you. I mean, and that's the thing in your deck. You always have hope. Like I guess spin I have it to it. But I mean, spin it to I it. can't. I can't. Spin the uh the Marvel. That's the only thing. Oh, you need an energy too. Oh wait, hold on. No, no, no. I'm not at one because you just had a fetch land. Oh, oh I'm dead. I I didn't uh, even see the fetch land because your hang lands on. are hang spread on. out. Hey, one second. Don't scoop yet, Krim. Wait, one second. Are you, are you gonna just like bail of summer for the fun of it? <laughs> <laughs> that was my oh. plan. I also had the oh, fetch get land. <laughs> Your crates, yeah. your crates have betrayed you. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Leo, the crates were my out to killing to fairy, so I thank just you, happened you, to keep drawing them. You. And I was like, all right, sure. But I was a little unfortunate uh, in having to deal with this two disdainful strokes. I myself never drew my negates, so I don't. Yeah. I, but I only have two, so and, and maybe drew a lot of lands. I think it feels like you're almost a hard casting Eldrazi a little bit. I, I was close, right? I mean, if you'd given me one more turn, because I drew Cinderglade, I had a forest in hand, I could have hard-casted Ulamog, but... Yeah. So I feel like... I feel like that was actually a pretty interesting matchup. Uh, Teferi was an issue. Somehow the Cranes were actually kind of okay at keeping it a check. You do have scary things that you can do really quickly. I would say that overall... Overall, I think my deck's probably favored in that matchup solely yeah. because of Teferi. Like, if yep. I didn't have Teferi, I think you'd be favored. I also think uh, if we had more cards, like, because obviously these decks are from a certain era. If your deck had Veil of Summer, like, I was just realizing that, because that was key to one of our matchups earlier, a Veil of Summer to win a counter war. Boy, if Marvel had, like, Veil of Summer in their deck, that would make your deck even better and crazier than it was at the time so well it would need it would need veil and also like mystical disputes and stuff because you still got to counter teferi because teferi as a whole just negates all of that and and i guess the other thing is like we've saw it a couple times we saw it with uh with 
my deck not having any enchantment removal against Wilderness Reclamation, but having all artifact removal, if you were playing Aetherworks Marvel in 2020 and you were concerned about Teferi, there are cards you can play. Like, you can play Planeswalker removal or something, but yeah. that just wasn't a thing that you had to build your deck for back in 2017 because Teferi didn't exist, just like how my sideboard was geared for Mardu Vehicles because that was a big deck at the time and not geared for blowing up an enchantment. So that's one of, yep. I think, the interesting, like, quirks. I do think, like, we could have went and, like, rebuilt the decks to, uh, to make them... I don't know, like metagamed for this tournament. But I actually think it's kind of fun because you get this snapshot of the past and it's kind of interesting to see like the six artifact destruction spells hanging out in the copycat deck. And you're like, wow, like what was a metagame back like that? If that was what your sideboard looked like. So I think it's kind of adds an interesting element uh, in like kind of history lesson to the tournament. So agreed, agreed. Uh, so this is what we got. Our top eight is done. We're down to our top four. The last remaining decks. We had Simic Food taking down Winota in a close match. So that moves on. The one seed's through. We had Luca Fires taking down Omnath in... Eh, I wouldn't say that close of a match. It felt like Luca Fires was, uh, was in pretty good shape thanks to its Planeswalkers. So next week, match one will be Simic Food, Luca Fires. Then at the bottom, we had T-Barak taking down Copycat. Uh... Did Copycat have some puns? Perhaps, but I still think uh, Team Arrack probably favored, but maybe we'll uh, we'll play that matchup again someday and see. And then Golos Field taking down Team or Marvel in what ended up being a pretty interesting close matchup. So that means the seven and eight, uh, seven and six seeds are through. So we have Team Arrack Golos Fields. Winner is moving on to the championship, and this will be going down next week. So next week, we'll be doing all this. And Krim, I think... I'll have to double check because of, uh, I think you play Freeform on Arena, right? Or no? Like, can, uh, could we play these decks against, because I think we have all Arena era decks now in the end, which is yeah, also interesting. 2019 forward, so we could technically just build this on Arena and then play it there. So so maybe for next week's finals, we'll, uh, we'll jump over to Arena because people like Arena and all the decks are legal there. So plan on a week from today on Arena, the finals, Simic Food, Luka Fires, Team Arrack, Golos Field, and then the winners moving on to the championship. So, Krim, uh, thank you so much for doing it. It was another fun one. It's interesting. I think big takeaway for me. It's all new decks that are through. Like, these are all 2020, yeah. 2019 decks. The old decks, yes, maybe there were punts at some points that camp about, but still, definitely a general trend that the old broken decks, not quite good enough to keep up with the new broken decks. Uh, any any final thoughts for the night, Grim? Uh, you know, uh, not nothing that's going to be too surprising. I mean... For, for me, like, example, like, I, I'm not surprised myself that, like, all the 2019 forward cards are here, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> Cards, so. cards keep getting better. So with power creep and stuff, I guess it's not really that surprising either. Yeah. But anyway, Grim, thanks so much for hanging out and do it. We'll doing it. Uh, we'll do it one more time next week for the finals. Definitely appreciate you uh, taking some time to hang out with us tonight. And thanks for uh, having me. All right. Uh, yeah, definitely. Anytime. And uh, yeah, I'll let you go, Grim. I'll wrap up with the stream. Have a have a great night. All right. Sweet. Thanks, Seth. Bye, everybody. See you, Grim. Uh, so, so everyone, we've reached the top four. It'll be taking place a week from tonight on Arena, since it's all Arena decks. And I know, like, uh, I know that I feel like the response to this has been good. So I think it's also time to start moving, uh, thinking about what we could do next, moving forward a little bit. So... If you have some ideas for other brackets, or if you even want to see other brackets, let me know if you want to see more content like this, and if you have other ideas of, uh, of what would make for good brackets and content like this. So definitely let me know. On that note, I think we are done for tonight. We will be back Thursday with a normal stream, no dual stuff. So sorry if I missed your question or anything. I think I kept up with all the subs, but uh, but it's a little weird when you're bantering uh, with someone and trying to do chat and trying to play. So if I missed anything, I will definitely get it Thursday. I appreciate y'all hanging out. It's definitely super super fun. Uh, modern bracket could be sweet. Modern and against their odds. There were two that I thought of. Tribal could also be interesting too. Ooh, tribal would be interesting. I wonder if you just uh, get run over though. So, uh, reminders. One more reminder that our 
awesome sponsor tonight is a uh, is Car Kingdom. And if you need some magical cards, you can get them over at CardKingdom.com. Even get a free Scoop Soldier sticker. Just let them know you want one in your order note. So thank you to Car Kingdom for supporting the show. If you missed any of our glorious puns <laughs> uh, from tonight's stream or any past streams, you can find them on the replay YouTube, normal YouTube, Budget Magic Today, Crib Video Tonight, Sweet Against Odds Tomorrow. So keep it out for all of that stuff. Most importantly, thank you to all of you. Seriously, thanks for ideas. <laughs> the ether vial racket. Yeah, I mean, that's what tribal would be. Thanks for all the ideas. Thanks for hanging out and having fun. Seriously, everyone, y'all are awesome. You're amazing. I appreciate you so, so much. So check out the Against Odds tomorrow. It's an interesting one. And I'll see y'all on Thursday. I don't know, probably playing standard because I've really been enjoying it. But we'll be doing something fun on Thursday. So uh, until then, everyone. Have a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging out for the top eight of the bad bracket. And uh, I will talk to you soon.